Recording. And of course, the, and of course, the Lama, uh, and of course, Humphrey, because he's kind of like a camel, Humphrey. except Humphrey Lama. Oh, you're bad. So, <laughs> Alan, you were here early. Is it because because you were without child? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you're less distracted. That's well, because right. there's no there's no hockey tonight. So, there's oh, that makes so, sense. The, so the TV's off. <laughs> OK, that makes sense. Hi, Carolyn. Hello. Your hobbit hole. Are you wearing your trivia earrings? I am. <laughs> She's yes. so cute. That is super cute. Forevermore, they will be the trivia earrings. And Wendy, Wendy, oh, it's so good to see you. Man, your hair is growing out. Look at that. That looks cute. Came, came with I, have, I have news for you, Wendy. I don't know if it's a big deal or not, but you're having a birthday coming up. And I'm going to be in Las Vegas. I mean, I'm going to be in LA. And I arrive on your birthday. Monday the third. Wow, far out. Mark's well, gonna be the castle. Yeah, either the castle. I will do something. I would be so happy to. I will be that. doing several things. So just figure yeah. out what, if you guys got. Uh, we we have the fourth off. They, um, he's not going to be performing on the fourth. The castle is going to be closed. That's a Tuesday. So, but I want to do stuff during the day. I already told him. I said I'm I'm busy. If you want to come along with me, Mark, fine. But if not, I'm going because I want to go do stuff. I want to go hang out with my friends in, in Las and in Las. I keep saying Las Vegas because I was just looking up at Las Vegas. We got Las Vegas on the mind. I just was looking it up just like a, seconds ago to see yeah. what was going on. I'm so excited, but yeah. So Mark just found out he's going to be going to to um, the Magic Castle, and I lost my clothes. The the dresses I usually wear. I lost them. Mark and I, we put them in a bag and he was supposed to take them to the dry cleaner and we can't find them. And the dry cleaner, we've been there three times and they have no record of us turning them in and they're not in our house and are not in his car and no idea where they are. They were struggling. Something new. So you Las Vegas, Los Angeles and lost clothes. Yeah, lost clothes. There you go. So I went shopping the other day and I bought two outfits and they're really cute. So I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get some doggy treats. I'll be right back. Okay. By the way, what does the loss mean, in, uh, presumably in Spanish? Oh, it means like the, isn't yeah, it? Okay. Yeah. The, I think it's a plural. It's like plural. Yeah. It's like plural for the, like, yeah. like um, okay. multiple los, things. Los gatos means the cats. Yeah, the cats, or los baños means the baths. I was, um, I was, re I saw something online the other day, and of course, so it's got to be fact uh, that that <laughs> that in um, that. Um, we, uh, the uh, in in Las Vegas, the locals do ne never refer to it as Las Vegas. They only say Vegas. Sure, well, yeah. yeah, yeah. I know in San Francisco they never call it San Fran. Yeah. If if you say, "Oh, I was in San Fran," they're like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah, yeah, you're not you're not local. That's for sure. So. Hey, People who come from out of state and they call California Cali. I've never heard know. that, except maybe in a movie or no. something. Nobody what? calls it Cali. No. Well, That's well, it's name. like you, you'll you never hear anybody around here say uh, this is Chi, Chi Town or anything like that. You know? What's Chi Town? I've never heard that phrase. Chicago. Oh, I would just call it the big the city, I guess. Does anybody ever call it the big Apple? And well, the Big Apple's New York. Oh, yeah. in our, I know, but do people yeah. in New York call it New York? Yeah. I'm waiting to see if we go into see chickens. All I'm seeing is grass. Yeah. So um, um, change your name over there, Troy. So everybody knows your name. Oh, Troy. Oh, and Troy and I are ecstatic because this has been the best <laughs> day ever with the guilty verdict in the, um, yesterday. Was he yesterday only? Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, that's. It seems like three days ago, right? Or what? It feels, it feels like it's been six months. Because <laughs> it's been, been, verdict. It's yeah. been massive. We can talk about that after the uh, the the game's over. But boy, there's the chickens. There they are. Daddy's going to put you guys to Betty by now. He's going to close it up, and he's in, look at there. What are they standing on? Are they on a shelf? Donald. Okay, they're yes. on two by four. Okay, I see. September September tenth, Thurl Bales Park, and they're gonna yeah, have. I saw, I saw that. I was wondering if they're gonna actually Are have a site, at chicken a site butts? for it. We're looking at chicken butts. It'll be outside, so I hope it doesn't rain. 
Yeah, I haven't decided whether I'm going to go. Okay, there you go. I want to see the chicken's face. I don't want to see your butt. Uh, I think that is taking care of my trip to New Jersey, though, I'm afraid. <laughs> Why don't you come out here? Yeah, well, we'll be gone for like a couple of weeks in July and August anyway, so. Hi, Ron. Susan, I missed your talk with uh, Kenny yesterday, or was it yesterday? Wednesday. Was that yesterday, too? Yeah. Wednesday. Everything, Wednesday. Happened Wednesday. Yesterday. Everything happened yesterday. I'm so confused. Is it? Will it be available on? Oh yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, it'll take a few weeks, but it'll be online. It was, okay. it was hard because it was supposed to be like a serious discussion from Center Inquiry on this topic, and I don't take it all seriously, you guys. I mean, I get a little flippant at times. I don't know. If no, you not you. Believe that? No, I know you would. Surely not. Not. He's even looking at me, and so, um, I was winging it. You know, just. I had some questions, but I think we did really good. But I have Richard Saunders and Kenny Biddle and myself, and that is the only three people on the screen. I okay. have to be the adult. So, oh, boy. <laughs> so gonna, I was uh, raining them in. The three most deadpan people you'll ever run into. I know. We just never have fun at all. And I was saying, I kept saying, okay, I need to interrupt you because you'd ask them a question. We have an hour, and I have a set amount of questions to go through, and I'd be like, okay. So, Richard, why don't you take this question? I'd ask him the question. I'd say something in chat to him so that they know, hold on, Hamilton, I'm talking. And so I would have to say to him, hold on. I'd say, okay, I need to interrupt you, Richard, because otherwise we will not get through these questions because they all have so much information, too. It's not like they're rambling about nothing. It's all good stuff. But I got to move through the question. So it was really interesting trying to keep them in line. Yeah. The two of them together. Oh, yeah. Real men. <laughs> Re yeah, I should have just had a big, like a, a fishing reel or something like that to do. Janine's here. Oh, she's just signing in. Are you getting, are you there? Can you hear us yet, Janine? <laughs> My gosh, have you guys been able to see what she's doing at her house? She's still connecting. Oh, I hear the chickens. Look at this one. Hamilton, do you see the chickens? Look right there. Yeah, they're all there. See them? See them? Look, M, M, M. Ah, so I gave my cat a whole chicken egg. I sort of took a fork and scrambled it up. And she spent all night. She, she In the morning, her belly was like huge. But she'd been losing weight. So I'm like, what can I give this cat that she'll An egg. Did you mix it with any milk or something? Or just the egg? Just the egg. Oh, mine, had, mine like milk and egg. Isn't that, a... Isn't that cannibalism? <laughs> uh, for a cat? Cats don't oh, work. for a cat. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Ron's I'm, not okay. I'm not awake <laughs> yet, so hey. The city guy. He doesn't know about these things. Oh, but you see the top of Mike's head. Mike, we have a question for you. Uh -huh. Really important question. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you sitting down? <clears throat> Yeah. We've been waiting for all this time to ask you this question. Uh huh. Do people who live in New York call the city the Big Apple? Or is that a tourist thing? I don't remember Apple? ever hearing anyone refer to it that way. No. I mean, we are familiar with that uh, expression, okay. but. Yeah. Is it only created for We're kind of arrogant about it, tourists? so we usually just call it the city. Yeah. I I in, when I lived in New York State, we just called it the city. Everybody called it the apple. Yeah. Hey, I'm I kidding. I think a lot of up. I think a lot of cities got uh, at least used to get referred to as the Big Smoke. <laughs> Who? Yeah. I don't know anybody who does the Big Smoke. I, I, smoke? Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. uh, we've they, never heard of it. Basic, but basically, when all the buildings that were were were, were heated with coal, oh. <laughs> so, so this goes back a ways. <laughs> Hi. Oh, hey, Bill. Hey. Hello there. What's going on? Oh, okay. Janine, I was saying, you guys should have weddings there more often. My gosh, you got you got him, you got your husband out there welding and redoing the flower garden and and no, he's, the trees. Uh, we're we're rebuilding the deck. It looks like so, it, and yeah. the whole yard too, in the garden area. And oh no, he had that. You may not remember. There was this huge industrial backhoe down by the pond, and then there's the 
crane right by where we want to put the tent. And the backhoe got caught up with the cutting torches, but the crane has to have all the hydraulics replaced and the hoses replaced and then moved with the big John Deere tractor. What was this about a dinosaur or something? What were what was that comment you said you didn't take a picture of it? So the backhoe, the backhoe was like this giant dinosaur. When oh, I thought you had they a... finally got it laid oh. over. It got cut into little pieces and stacked up. It could go in a drawer. Oh, I was thinking oh, in a drawer. I was thinking that you were talking about an actual dinosaur structure that had John gotten... had John had stuff like that in his farm in Montana, but yeah. um, there so it looks dinosaurs. like so 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 it looked like the. Uh, uh, the machinery that uh, that Fred Flintstone were yet uh, used in the quarry. <laughs> no, it was this huge, like probably three times my height, and the bucket for the for it was bigger than I could reach, and I could have stood in the in the bucket. I don't know why we had a backhoe like that, but. John collects equipment like I collect books. Hi, Peggy. Hi. If you if, if, if you have the same number of items that the books would take up less space, but that's correct. <laughs> that's good. Hey Romero. Hey Robert. Asking us questions in the future. That's what he was doing. Wendy's here. Hi, Wendy. Miss Hi. Jen. Thank I'm you. I'm going to go see Wendy. Jack, I, I've got a big load off my mind today about, uh, about some family business that has just been really difficult. Have you been taking care of? I think that the, the condo is going to be sold over the weekend. And, the, and it, my sister died back in 2021. She never married. She never had children. And she, um, um, it's a long, horrible story. What I'm full of regret about is that I w wasn't friends with her for the past several years. Even though we lived very close by each other, it was, it was an awkward experience. And I made a bad decision. I, I I thought I could live without this person easily in my life. And um, now that she's dead, I regret that decision. I, I was just being stubborn. So what happens is um, I am experiencing the grief over the loss of my sister, the regret over being a jerk. And um, you? responsible for taking care of me. A jerk. I'm a jerk. I was. I was really stubborn, and I'm sure her feelings were hurt. But I mean, in my. It's called boundaries, Wendy. Justified it. Yeah, but um, now the um, Katie analyzed it. My daughter. She said, "Look, you're just going through this grief." It's like full of echoes from other experiences of grief. It's not just about my sister. It's, she's probably right about that. Yeah, sounds like it. But I was still responsible for, yeah, I was still responsible for um, being the administrator of her estate and cleaning up after the mess she left behind. And um, um, and it was, it was like having... It, with like having a job your your internet's going weird on you you're breaking up and she gone I have okay i just decided to turn off my video in, 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 in that do, the video's doing something huh but anyway to make a long your story sound endless was, your sound was coming through poorly yeah it was like do, 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 do. Turn the video off and see if that helps. Jackie? Oh, her dog's doing it. That's his problem. The dog's on the other line ordering treats from Amazon. <laughs> All his fault. There you go. 
The, the, up dog, all the, the dog is on the other computer watching kitty porn. Kitty <laughs> porn. So you you had a condo and you sold it. My sister owned a condo and I had to sell it. My brother and I are her next of kin, and um, neither of us wanted to own it, live in it, be near it, but it was a mess, and so it had to be cleaned up. And um, the first real estate broker gave me advice that I thought was kind of skeechy. And um, we checked around and we got what sounded like better advice, which boiled down to basically just having the thing cleaned up and painted. And, um, but also she was, a, a, you know, she didn't have kids. Or, and so she spent all her money on um, the acquisition and display of material wealth, which is really, like an American part of the American Wait, wait, values. wait. Before you say what the answer is, can I ask if it was Christmas related? Oh, no, you're Jewish. Never mind. Yeah, no, I'm Jewish atheist. But I've been to a bunch of estate sales, and it seems like every estate sale you go into has like rooms of Christmas. Stuff yeah. Yeah. And, I, and even people who are not Christian do it. You so know, what was her? I, what was it she talked about? to estate sales, and they would have. All the Christmas gift wrap and and Christmas tree gear and all that stuff, and a menorah. Oh, I've never I've not seen that. But so, what was her? What did she spend her money? I mean, what was this? Come on, shoes and she, clothes. Oh, shoes and clothes. Oh, yeah, and art. There was. Oh. <laughs> Sounds oh, like she she early brought enough home to see some of it. Most of it ended up in thrift shop. Say again. Okay, so here's here's like a super weird thing. Oh, I just oh, uh -huh. finished a, almost a very similar story. Um, I just heard from our realtor today that she had gotten someone to buy this house that my dad owns. Um, my uncle died a few years ago, and uh, my dad inherited this house. And my uncle had lived in 40 years ago in Wichita, Kansas. And my uncle moved from Wichita to Houston, Texas. So he had been renting this house to this guy for 40 years, who was very old now. And then a few years ago, my dad inherited the house. But this guy was living in it, paying very little rent. But my dad didn't want to kick him out. And he finally had a stroke and his kids moved him out like four months ago. They opted not to really keep us up to date on that. So we only found out last month but last week i flew out to wichita and like found a realtor and that is so much sold the house luckily they i was worried because we hadn't really heard from them so i didn't know if it was gonna be like full of crap or or uh squatters or whatever the house was basically just empty even though it was not locked and i just you know found a local realtor and so i got a call today she's like yeah we found someone to made it made us a cash offer on it. It was it's not a it's a, like a super small house, not very much, but at least my mom and dad don't have to worry about it. Pay continue to pay taxes on it. Oh my gosh! Can you imagine if you got in there and the house was full? It was thrashed. Yeah, it was. Uh, oh, luckily, luckily, great I, match. Luckily, I I I I am I'm I'm fairly nice to my sister. Although when we were kids, I used to be mean to her, so she never doesn't she can just bring that up. So. Yeah. But I'm trying to make up for it by taking care of this house thing. And her and her kids. And her, I treat her. Her kids are great. Two of my two nieces are graduating uh, high school this weekend. They are even as we speak at their prom at uh, Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. Are they twins? Yeah, they're twins. They don't yeah. look alike at all. They're twins that don't look alike. Fraternal. Mm -mm. They so don't I think alike, alike either. Mm, no, they're going totally different colleges and everything. It's funny how much we know about each other's personal business. Uh, <laughs> oh, look at the chickens running down the stairs. Choo, 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 choo. It's funny, oh, chickens, go. Mike, our sisters don't let us forget what we did to them when we were young. <laughs> uh, there they are, before and after. So yeah, cute. Oh, they alike. are beautiful. Yeah, they're nothing alike. Look at that. They are very yeah. One is they tall. They are beautiful. Yeah. So they, they both have natural sure? curly hair though. So they're both yeah, standing is, on the uh, uh, on level ground. It's not like one. No, one is one is definitely much taller. Wow, there's a huge difference there. Yeah. 
Um, Hi, Jane. Hi. I love I that house. I just read your I just read your text, Jane. Yeah. I was out moving firewood. I'm going to move over to Jane's house and I'm going to go to Carolyn's house because yeah. yeah, those homes just look so beautiful. I want to go stay yeah. in the back and stay in there. <laughs> I, I suggest that Carolyn and I swap houses for a week. One day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I haven't closed yet. I still have a house in Wichita if anyone needs one. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the middle of the city, right? Isn't it a, a neighborhood that it would sell well? I would think that it would sell well because it's a, if it's in Wichita and not some like it's it's really it, Wichita is a fairly small city. I mean, compared really? to really, I thought it was huge. It's uh, no, it's in an okay neighborhood, but it's just you know, the, when you have one guy living in it for forty years, you can just imagine. I mean, actually, it was in fairly nice shape, <laughs> but a lot of stuff duct taped together. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you can go. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Hey, Gail. Hi. Wichita. Well, I'm looking at it right now. That looks like a pretty good sized city. Oh. Hang on, let's see if I can. Well, you're comparing it to Salinas. Oh, I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, I think it, well, it's probably about the same. It's, it's got a largest city in Kansas. Is it the largest city? Oh, in yeah, 400,000 people. Oh, no, no. If you add the metropolitan area, it's almost 700,000. That is that is pretty big. Look at those big. Yeah, they've got a big like. I think one of the airline companies has like a ma airline manufacturing. Yeah, that's way bigger than Salinas. Look at those buildings. They got tall buildings. Well, we don't have a lot of tall buildings here because we have earthquakes, so it's not like a, you yeah. know, yeah. not a thing, it's nothing like that. Okay. Uh, hey, we'll Kevin. Gonna, Kansas City. Screen. It looks like it, it looks like the Kansas the the Kansas side of Kansas City is bigger there than Wichita. Is. There's the house. So oh, that looks adorable. Oh, that's that cool. looks clean. Yeah. That is so a, cute. Not as great on the inside, but hold on, let's see. It's know. just plain, but that's mm -hmm. that's nice. I mean, I was expecting yeah. a yard that looked like you know. No, it like was. Uh, didn't do much in the way of landscaping for potential. forty years. Too. No landscaping, but at least it's clean. <laughs> it did not. Does it Yay, snow? Wendy's here. Yeah, it snows there. Hey, Karen. Oh. Karen. Hi, hey, Gail. Hey, We're hey, all coming hey, to see you. A large yeah. party of us are coming to see you in October. Yeah. Make us a cake. <laughs> this is going to be a blast. I'm not speaking. So I was a little hurt looking at the speakers list, thinking, God, I wish I was speaking. But then I thought, this would be really nice not speaking this time. <laughs> I could really just. You can relax. Yeah, I could just. Well, I'm going to have a table or tables. Let's just say tables. I'm going <laughs> to do the same thing I usually do, but it's going to be nice. And I reached out to several of the speakers and I, you know, welcomed them and, and said how awesome they're going to be able to go. There's a bunch on there. I don't know. I'm very excited. I'm to see Craig Foster back. Yeah. Well, I had asked. I had always fun. And he's going to bring his, he's going to bring, he's got a daughter that's going to be 13 or 14. And oh, she's been no. wanting to go for a longest time. And I said, she, you just, I started Sterling at 14 and he's been to everyone since. And now he's in his thirties or 30. I don't know how old he is. 31? Yeah, there's 32? More pictures of this house. Oh, I see what you mean about duct tape. So the um, duct tape, there's the inside. So it's not. Oh, that is thrashed. It really, but it's it, but you know, it's not full of garbage, and it could be cleaned up. But yeah, oh luckily, wow, not my Guy. problem. Duck it's a fixer upper for sure. Ooh, yeah, that looked kind of. <laughs> I mean, not not a worst case scenario, but not you know, not ready to move in either. Yeah. No, but that it didn't look like it was like you had to clean it up like badly or anything. So that's yeah. good. Very good. So you guys looked at the speakers and everything. This is so exciting. Yep. No. You haven't? I haven't looked. I saw that they were there, but I didn't look yet. I didn't know they were listed yet. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the first thing I did. And then I looked at the Halloween theme. It's it's uh, Groovy 60s. Yeah, I saw yeah. that because I saw that from you. Yeah. I still have my dresses hanging in the closet. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I haven't looked at that either, but um I put the link in the in the chat. The, uh, Hi, Cindy. 
Hi, Susan. We're gonna go to we're gonna go to Fremont's Peak. It's it's gonna be really it's depressing ending. for me when they have a Halloween party where the theme is the nineties. So wait, is uh will, will Lawrence Fishburne be there maybe? Who? Lawrence Fishburne, one of the underrated star of like later seasons of CSI, the, the TV show. <laughs> no, the speakers are listed there. We'll have Penn and Teller, Mazmo Polidorio, Richard Dawkins. I, I think um, that was a joke, Susan. You didn't oh, get it. I don't. I don't get it. <laughs> Mick West the is going to be there. Remember the TV show CSI, the crime scene investigators. Yeah. It's also set in Las Vegas, which originally <laughs> stars William Peterson, but later seasons starred uh, Ted Danson and then Lawrence Fishburne. I remember Ted Danson. I didn't know Ted Danson was on that show. Yeah. Just a couple years. Went Just off to fake marry Georgia Fox. Fake marry? Well, they were married on the show. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So we've got we've got some people here I don't know. Paul Offit will be there. I love Paul. He's super awesome. And um, Kenny Biddle. Dustin Dean, I've been talking with him. Katie Dyer will be there. She's going to be there, and and uh, Carl's going to talk to her tomorrow. Yep. Is she bringing her husband, or is she just coming out by herself? Uh, I think she's bringing her husband. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. guy Dave Far Farina, Doctor Dave, Doc Professor Doc Prefe Professor Dave explains. He's he's got a podcast. He's going to be at Psychon. Oh, he's great. He's he really does, uh, good. He, he does stuff on the Skeptic Zone all the time. I, I looked. I wrote Barry, and Barry said yes. He wants me to interview these people, so I have to pick like ten or twelve of them. Okay. Well, uh, I already primed Dustin Dean. He's yeah, that, I I checked him off. I like to. I like what he's going to talk about. And even have. Oh, he's going to def be definitely. And also, I've never uh, talked to Paul Offit, so if I can get yeah, him, you definitely. Be oh yeah, get, you got to get Paul. Yeah. yeah. So um. Oh, the is uh. Yeah, he's the great guy. And and Doctor Dave. Yeah, I always watch his shows. That would be cool. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a lot of good people that yeah. Craig Foster. Last that time I like all often new people in the best. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's he's a great writer. Very so last time, last really time I liked the back scenes. Last time I did uh, pen, so I'm wondering if I could get Teller to talk. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> no, 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 why not? Talk. Of course, he'll talk if it's not in a show. Yeah, he talks. He'll talk on stage. Talk I know. Yeah, I'm to me. A joke. That was he's a joke. He's trying to make a joke, like. but you know what? We're already in on it. We do. We, we know. <laughs> he, he said. You're, he said at Tam one they're, time they're, that the great thing about being the silent one is that Penn's the one that gets all the hate mail. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Any any time there's a complaint, it's always addressed to Penn, never to Teller. And, yeah, and I have you on first tonight, right? There and you and Jeannie Scott. Oh yeah, Jeannie's oh, yeah. gonna be there. Jeannie's I talked back. to her yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen her there for a while. That'll be really and nice. Chase Underdown. <laughs> I always want to say down under for some reason. And somebody <laughs> called him. Somebody called him really cool James um Underden. Underdone. I'm sure uh, is uh, his. I'm sure he's uh, heard every uh, very. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure he's heard everything. Peggy, I have you down for a category tonight. You know that, right? I do. What? Okay. What's my number? Okay. Robin, Your number you two. Have you ever interviewed? <laughs> I'm <Stuart> poopy. <laughs> what was yeah, that? No, no, he's on my list. Definitely. Yeah, he should be on your list. Who? And, and Stuart Vice. Vice. And and if I understand what I read quickly. Oh, is he giving of, a talk? Yes. Yeah. So I read through the list. It looks like Dawkins is actually giving a talk instead of just like interviewing somebody. Did I read that correctly? Um, Dawkins, like. I don't know. Science, the poetry of reality, jewel in humanity's crown, Richard Dawkins. And and he's not being interviewed. Like usually the last two times he was like basically in a conversation on stage. He, so yeah. this time he's actually talking. So maybe uh, he'll give me an interview because last time he's the only one who declined. He said, I'm not really a speaker. There's no point in interviewing me. But now he is. So maybe I can get him. It's always important to interview. He has. Um, I saw that he he is starting. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. um, oh, hi, Wendy. I'll think if I, oh. I'm, I'm. It's an. Uh, wait a minute. Mm. I'm sorry. I've got the app right here. 
Who's doing the uh, categories tonight? Um, Is this the all Carl night? No, oh. that's next week. So we're going to lead off with uh, Wendy. What? Followed by Alan. <laughs> then it's Troy. <laughs> and then <laughs> it's Mike Wolf. And then the bonus is Ron. Troy, when did I get it? I think it? you're on the wrong week. Yeah, I thought I was doing my notes. Today. My notes say Peggy, Robin, Karen, Kevin. No, nope. and bonus for Gail. You take Susan notes? Really? I take notes. Them. I'm scared somebody's paying you. attention. I have a little <laughs> notebook. <laughs> oh. And this is number four. Oh my I god. I have four notebooks now. I, I thought Ron was permanently enjoying for yeah. doing it. And I'm almost round. to the end of I my I had a bonus notebook. in there of name the other 10 kids. You <laughs> have a notebook that's devoted to just trivia? Well, you've got to write stuff down when the you showing us when come up. Yeah. I'm showing you so, that Richard Dawkins has a substack. That's what I couldn't remember the name of, a substack. And um, and it's called Science is the Poetry of Reality. Well, no, it's it, he's it's his Substack is called the Poetry of Reality. Isn't that just so Dawkins? What is, what is a Substack? Oh, it's it's a like a blogish kind of. It's a, yeah. it's, a it's a software. It's, it's a, a software. Like is that, from, is that an app, company name? Is that a proprietary yeah. company? Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. Uh, Reddit yeah. or yeah. And it's look, kind of like a blog I network sort of. Enchanted with that I kind of had forgotten about was um um oh damn I'm sorry um um okay um Brian he has one a uh, Substack and then um the bad ast astronomy remember the, remember um no play. Okay, Phil Plate. I hadn't thought about him for years, and he's got a Substack, and they, and I and a Substack, um, and he blogs, and you get abbreviated ones, small essays for free, and um, but you can subscribe to the different ones, and you get like more, you know, like like more content. So it's um, I I can't even think of anything that it would be like except. Like po some podcasts you can listen to for free, but then you can get a subscription, <clears throat> pay a little, little more and get a little, little more. Your audio is breaking up unless it's me. No, it's it, it, her audio that. keeps breaking up on her. She's doing that stuttering stuff. Either you that shut, or she's Shut your video off, Wendy. Yeah, shut your video off. Yeah. Something about humpback whales and time travel, Rob. Yeah, that's what I heard. <laughs> Wait, she's frozen now. Wendy's frozen. No. I'll try putting you guys in a room. By holding a really yeah. pose. So. Okay, so I'm going to put you guys in a rooms. Snap out of it, Wendy. She's she's just. <laughs> she's, she's no oh, she got thrown uh, off. There she is. Oh. oh, there she's back. The one thing I forgot to mention about my trip to Kansas was that I came back with a lovely my third case of COVID. So I'm just uh, now. Getting how could you have had it three times? My God. What? And you Luckily, I never had it particularly bad. The first time I had zero symptoms. Second and third time, I had basically just a runny nose for a few days. But wow, you're hey. a magnet. I don't want to be around you. Hey, hey you I know had... what? Doesn't uh, Terry live near Wichita? I have. She's not here right now. She's in Kansas somewhere. Kansas City. Yeah, she's in Kansas. I had COVID. Wichita, but... Wichita is not that close to Kansas City. Yeah, it's not. Oh, she's, not she's in Missouri. I ended up flying to. Kansas, because I grew up in Kansas City, so I flew to Kansas City, hung out with my friends. It's a two-hour drive to uh, Wichita from there. And they I gave you COVID. A, I rented a Prius, so I got to, or a hybrid, some sort of hybrid car. That's a Prius. I was impressed how's, how's by the airport the, redesign at Kansas City. Huh? Oh, Mark? How's the airport redesign that they did? It's nice. It's, I made a joke, but it's kind of true. It had that new airport smell. You could sort of smell <laughs> the new construction. I mean, I it's want to go to Denver and see how. It's still kind of a small airport, but it was nice. It was, but but basically nothing really that special either. Oh, I, I I just hated the, the the setup of the old airport. I don't think I've ever flown in there 
or the old Kansas City Airport this. was that it was kind of cool when it opened because it's like an atypical design, but right, uh, you know, after after 9 11 and yeah. security and it just became untenable. Yeah. And all the dining options being outside the security area sucked. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to put you guys in your rooms. There are more people who will be joining us, so just assume there'll probably be more people in your room. <laughs> just not the second. But they're telling me they're going to be here. Oh. Then we'll and not Wendy, be We are here. This one. Why am I in room one? My first? Yep. My yeah, computer, yeah. My computer, my computer kicks off at ten o'clock. Well, it's only but, six. I, well, it's almost. You know what I mean. Well, you'll be all right. We'll deal with it. We'll do it fast. Well, we won't be there yet. It's yeah, that's it's ten, ten minutes away. Yeah, but if I don't finish by then, my computer shuts off for a minute. You're that's okay. You're not going to be. We're not going to be doing categories probably already. And I can always move. Go to two, one first. Doesn't matter. Their worlds. We found out that Kevin ain't you is using company hardware. Oh, we've known that for ages. Just, he needs a Hunter Biden's laptop thing in the background. <laughs> Hunter Biden. Mm -hmm. So, so Kevin, if if Kevin's being the the, I could go second if you want. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We could, we could, it's yeah. not a problem, Kevin. Okay. We yeah. do, I'm glad you reminded me, but we don't have, it's not a big deal. If you yeah, were to just pop out, we would just first. go, okay, we're on pause. <laughs> we'll come back. It's not, yeah, if, I, if you want me to go first, here. If, yeah, if you want <laughs> me to go first, I'll yeah. go first. I could put them all in the chat. It's a simple category. Well, it's different. We'll I haven't done one like this, and it's nothing special. We'll be all right. Yeah, we'll be fine. Who hasn't done a, um, been the person who brings people in in a while? Carolyn, have you done that? I think I had you do it last week, didn't I? We haven't. You haven't? Okay. No, you shouldn't have, haven't. shouldn't have said that. Now you have to do it. Yeah. That was easy. <laughs> I just like to make it so that everybody gets a chance to be in control. It's good to have everybody learn about the, the button and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Good. So when are, what are we going to do? It's exciting. I'm going to be down there and hanging out with you guys. Oh, yeah, baby. With who? We, could go, we could go to... I'm going to be... I'm staying in that exact same um, apartment that I was in last time. A by the, by the from Hollywood Castle? Boulevard. Hmm? By the Magic Castle? Yeah, right. I mean, in that same... The Hollywood Walk of Fame is within a block. <laughs> So I'm staying in the okay, exact same place. The places to have food and hang out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I like that it's Italian nice. restaurant we found. It might be hideously hot. So it might be a good thing to maybe just take off for the beach or we'll figure it out. We could go to that other museum. I'm really excited. We have that museum in. Nice. Um, See, there's a smooth rock. It's very nice. There's Robin. Hi, Robin. Hey. Mocker. <laughs> Where's Kyle? You got eaten alive by that bird. We got a small group tonight. A little bit, but there's a couple of people who said they're on their way. Okay. So I'm not too too concerned. Hey, it's Jamie, 23. Jamie isn't going to be with us tonight because um his niece is visiting from Australia. Oh, so cool. that's right. He did say that. He did tell us that. We've got 24 people here. That's pretty good. Uh, 20. Where's the 24th? Faith and Romero on one screen. Oh, oh, right. Okay. They count as two people, even though it's like, yeah. you yeah. know, they're in one room, but still, it still counts as two. Okay. We have a, when we had the other night, when we had 30 oh, something people, I was like, wow, that is almost too much. <laughs> oh, I have a question. Let me get this. We started. almost didn't show up. Why? Oh, Arab's Debra. The Duggar, the Duggar documentary on Amazon came out like two hours ago. And so. Ooh. 
And you all oh. about the IBLP biblical cult and she's a big fan of the Duggars. I am not a big fan of the Duggars. So why are you so excited about it? Because it's all that has been talked about on the snarking subreddits. And if you don't watch it today, you can't watch it. Hush, I needed to binge it. Well, you know what that oh. means? She's going to volunteer for a, for a category and it's going to be on Duggards. So we better get on it. No. I thought about that as a bonus thing. <laughs> there are only, almost as many of them as there are Buck children. So yeah, that you, would could work. Us, you could have us name their kids. Yeah, yeah. name it one of their 50. Yeah, no, nobody would come up with that. Something rules. that's stupid. <laughs> no, well, there was two, but I think the first miscarried fetus didn't get a name. You can hey, you can let us two points. Can I, while you can see while you can see the back of her head. Oh, look at there's a chicken. You see the little white spots? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Those are new feathers. I'm wondering if if she'll turn all white on this mole. You know, how old is she? Uh, they're three months, three months and change, and they have this brown heads and brown color but their parents are both whites so why are they all brown and i'm thinking maybe this next set of feathers will be white so maybe it was like a juvenile ju yeah cool. maybe it was like a juvenile plumage so anyway just because you could she was facing towards see. me so you could see the and like sister, gray horses so that are always born a dark color and oh, then really? they came, yeah juvenile yeah yeah yeah, lip designers huh. are born black and turn white over years. Really? Yeah. yeah. And the, when they were born, one had white down. Crimson Tide. One had white down and one had yellow down. And That's so not beautiful. She, she's the one with white down, so her feet are white and her beak is a light color. And the one mm -hmm. with yellow has darker, her, her brown feathers are darker. She has a yellow beak and yellow feet. So that's I can tell them I can tell which is which. My you know, poor right. chickens are are contained until after the wedding now. The poor chickens. Um, Those poor they chickens. are not getting married, Robin. <laughs> I was just being a smart ass. <laughs> I noticed that. I put a smart ass picture back. <laughs> of a duck in a wedding no, dress. Good. I just okay. happen to have a picture of a duck in a wedding dress. <laughs> oh, who doesn't? As one does. <laughs> As one uh, does. I have them over here, all over the place. I just got a. I just got somebody asked me a Wikipedia question about a topic that you're not going to believe. Out of a thousand guesses of people saying, "What could possibly be somebody writing to you about?" Absolutely, you would never guess the question they have about wikipedia page no way on this earth a thousand monkeys typing it onto a typewriter you would never guess this anybody want to guess no because we <laughs> no. can't guess you better tell us here i'm putting it in the chat give us a hint i'm just another monkey strawberry shortcake the cartoon why would somebody was reading the page and they noticed something about it and they asked me a question <laughs> <laughs> strawberry shortcake and i looked at that picture and i said oh lord that's scary <laughs> the character or the dish the character strawberry shortcake i yeah what do they want to know well they said that they didn't notice somebody was mentioned on there that should be and i said no she's right there i did a, a control uh a control find yeah. and i found the woman's name she was oh i didn't see it i'm on my phone and i didn't see it i'm like oh okay yeah she's right there <laughs> you saved the day Dun, da, da, da. I was going to ask Caroline if she wanted it. She's trying to get she's trying to get her <laughs> her points up there. So her edits up. So you don't have to. Ah, there should be a search. Should be find future. Okay, I'm just stalling a little bit because kevin is going to go first and kevin's phone uh computer restarts at seven my time so hmm. he's is he here he's gone well we'll we have him. time for the he uh, was here the names yeah we have time for the names okay good so that's perfect we, we're set you're not gonna distract him by story shortcake questions <laughs> well, like, <"Ooh>, funny <laughs> it's so funny all right so we've got five teams that are vying for the 
to be the leader of game 163. And so the first one um, is Carolyn, Faith, Romero, Kevin, and Wendy. What's your team name? Can't we just arrest him already? Yay! <laughs> and the answer is I don't have an answer. Soon. Well, let me tell you, this this Scientology thing that happened that came to fruition yesterday was six years in the making and more. Wow. If we're talking and about it, Trump though, Trump was arrested in New York for that uh Oh, that's true. Over yeah. that weird thing he Yeah. <laughs> The weird thing that even I don't understand what it's about, but yeah, I got it. Crazy. But the thing is, is that uh, talking about um, the Scientology thing is that yesterday when it finished, it was like, "Wow, that's taken a while." And then you heard Tony Ortega say, "Oh, we've been they've been with <laughs> six and a half years." So now that we're done with that oh. little bit, you just go, "Oh, it didn't seem like it's." Well, you you don't know what else is happening with that, Susan. Well, you yeah, might yeah. have a trivia category. No, it's, even though that. he's been convicted, now they're trying to figure out who leaked the information that yeah. was attorney client. That'll be next students. Wednesday. Yeah. You might have a Let's trivia bring category. down the church of Scientology. I'm watching. I'm watching every moment of that, and so is Troy. We're and we're like, okay. So Alan, Cindy, Bob, Lee, and Peggy. What's your team name tonight? We are singing and dancing llamas. <laughs> Put it in chat. Oh, there it is. Okay, I see it. And it wasn't my idea. So. Oh. <laughs> it was foisted upon him like all of the llama stuff he probably gets from everybody. Yeah, he's probably <laughs> llamaed out. My gosh. Did you guys see his baby llama that was just born? It was so cute. It's like huge. And it was like an hour old, the picture he put up. It was so adorable. Oh, I yeah, guess we I made a friend with that. Um, yeah, you got a little friendly, but they had baby llama. A baby oh, llama, my gosh, it's so darn cute. Okay, team number three, Janine, Karen, Carl, and Troy. What's uh, the winning name clap, tonight? Clap him in irons for the sixth anniversary of Kofetti. Kofetti? <laughs> it's, six years? it's the sixth anniversary. Now that is bizarre. I would never have said that was six years ago. Somebody could do it. And, yeah. and you but know how different anniversaries you have, like the paper anniversary, silver anniversary, gold anniversary. Guess what the sixth anniversary is? Jail? Coffee. Iron. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay. Clap them and irons for the sixth anniversary of Kofepi. You know, there's a Wikipedia page for Kofepi. Yeah, yeah, we found it. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, Bill, Mike, yeah. Rob, and Robin. It's never been my cup of tea. No. <laughs> we are that 30 years to life show. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh, that's great. Oh my gosh. I have yeah. not stopped thinking yeah. about that. I it's just been when I went to bed last night and I'm laying down, I'm getting all comfortable on my pillow and my kitty cat's right there next to me, and I say, what is he doing right now? He's, just, he's, he's, on, he's on a cot. He's, like like, he's on a cot, yeah, trying to get yeah. comfortable. And I'm like, and there's oh. and no one has turned off the ceiling light. And how horrible. <laughs> All of the pictures were him and his wife strolling in with their coffees. I mean, I just wanted to open them and throw them in their face. Uh, <laughs> Wait you a know, minute. I don't get the reference. I've Miss oh, uh, Scientology. There's a there's this guy who's on the '70s show. It was a TV show that was popular about 20 years ago, 10 years ago. I don't know. Yeah, he was that, the show, and I loved his character. I've never seen the show. Anyway, he was an actor, and he's a Scientologist, and he's one of these Scientologists, very vain. And and, and now so, you can legally say he's also a rapist. Yeah. So he was accused of rape by three different women or more. Oh, okay. And there was a trial. Back when we were at Psycon, and that was a hung jury. And so okay. then we waited till April, and then there was another one. And just yesterday, they found him guilty. So he's got 30 years to life. Yeah. Yeah. Two oh. of the three, two of the three, yeah. J, two of the three Jane Doe's cases, they convicted guilty. One was a hung jury, and uh, and he's getting 30 years. At and least. The Scientology yeah. cult tried all kinds of witness tampering, suppression, and everything. Yeah, they usually it's real exciting. What was the TV show? 
that that's 70s. 70s. That 70s show. That's why the pun in the name. Yeah, it's called That 70s that Show. 70s. Okay. I've never seen it. Okay, and last but not least, yeah. Gail, Jane, Jim, and Ron. Well, it was appropriate that we were last because we were discussing the same things you were when Jim gave us the title. Which trial was that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's kind of 2023, isn't it? <laughs> so many bad guys getting their comeuppance. Yeah. Oh, man. It just feels like, and I've said this, we can go back and look at the tape. I always said this in January. 2023 is, is the year of accountability. There's got to be accountability in mass in 2023. I'm sick and tired. Elizabeth Holmes reported to prison too. Who? Yeah. Yeah. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Holmes. Holmes. Theranos. Yeah. Theranos. Yeah. And Kevin and Kyle. What, what's your name, Carl? <laughs> <laughs> is that a joke that she was going to turn up pregnant for the third one? Oh, and I God. said, I, I wrote to him yesterday, I guess, or the other day. Yeah. I said, Is she uh, so? I guess you lost her, but she's not, she didn't have another, you know, announce a pregnancy. He was, Yeah, I guess I'm not psychic. Pregnant. I didn't know. And I said, sure she, she was going to still try be and pregnant. Delay time with another kid. She could be pregnant. Okay, so here's yeah, what we got tonight. Can't we just arrest him already? <laughs> versus singing and dancing llamas versus Clapham and Irons for the sixth anniversary of Kofefe. Versus that 30 years to life show versus which trial was that? <laughs> That's a good one here. <laughs> Got some real good ones here. So we're on game 163. This is January the 1st, 2023. And uh, January. January. June. Oh, June 1st. <laughs> That's a you, not an A. <laughs> and you know how I am. So we've got a bunch of fun things coming up that I'll tell you guys. Happy about. New Year, by the way. Not yet. Not yet. You said January 1st, so Happy New Year. No, it's not January 1st. It is not yet. So next week, it's going to be all Carl. And then the week after that, it's all Susan. And I'm going to be, so Carl's going to end the end the year, and I'm going to start the year. So that's how we're going to do it. And I've been working on my categories, so this will be fun. So nobody needs to volunteer today or our, uh, for next week or the week after that. So this will be interesting. I was having fun writing, working on those categories. I've been fussing at them for a while. So Rod, and if Ben's listening to this, you guys have powers to get into the spreadsheet. Do not look at the tab called Future Trivia because it'll give it away and I don't want to do that. But I am going to give one hint because I, I'm going to make these tough. My categories are going to be tough. We're not going to have no nine out of tens all the time. They're going to be kind of tough and they're not going to be tough in the way that you guys think of tough. So what we're going to do is we're, <laughs> so um, <laughs> that was an evil laugh. Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I would, so I would think, I like, like this. So, I like this. what are you having in addition to Punch and Judy? <laughs> yeah, Punch and Judy and Punch and Judy <laughs> 2, Punch and Judy 3. So my, keep my that in mind. Week, my next week's, my next week's team is going to be called we're writing our dissertation on Punch and Judy. <laughs> <laughs> so keep in mind that that um, I'm going to be a little tougher because I'm going. I'm just going to do that. All right. So bear with me. I'm just giving you a fair warning. But it's going to be tough. Okay. Should be. So Judy we'll prepare Judy. for low scores. By That'll categories of Luann. I'm okay. Kind, ready. Yeah, I'm kind of picking stuff. I think that aren't going to be anybody necessarily or you know the normal people i guess are going to be like the obvious put it this way there's no science fiction <laughs> no, <laughs> no time travel no sports science. Wordle, all wordle great science, I'll, I'll all do wordle. <laughs> there'll be some odd things i don't think it's gonna be punch and judy wise but it's gonna be interesting so kevin is now here his computer has restarted Yep. Told him it would be fine. He says he's got a category for us tonight that is going to be fast. So I'm looking forward to that. Kevin, go ahead and tell us okay. what our category is. And uh, Faith and Romero are in charge of Get ready to groan. the trolls. Get ready to groan. The category is Clint Eastwood. I'm going to groan. Some That's people so don't like him. Beauty well, it doesn't matter if we beauty. like him or not. He looks. He's right around the corner. I think I think Deborah hangs out with him every once in a while. So we're <clears> question number one. Here. What is Clint Eastwood's birth name? 
And I have four choices, Clint Eastwood, Clinton Eastwood Jr., Howard Eastwood, or Clint with a K. With a K. <laughs> oh, sorry. Question number two, what year was he born? Plus or minus one. Question number three, what type of pet did Philo Beto have? Question number four, what was that pet's name? Question number five, what was Dirty Harry's last name? Question number six. In what movie did Clint play a radio disc jockey? Question number seven. How many Academy Awards has he won? Plus or minus three. The answer is not 42 because he's only been uh, nominated 41 times. So that's a hint. Wow. He's been, that's a lot. Well, he's actor, director, all kinds of stuff. He had a number one hit, a hit song. A lot of people don't know this. So I want you to either name the you can name the song, name who sang it with them, and name the year it came out. You get any one of those right, and you get a point. Tiptoe through the tulips. Shh, don't give away anything. <laughs> Question number nine: Simple yes or no. Does he have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? And question number ten: Who wrote the song "Every Which Way But Loose"? Go to your rooms. All right. Where's Caspian? I think I need a room. Okay, I'll give you, yeah, put her in a room. All right, Deborah. I was going to put you here. One, two, three, one, two. No, Jane, no, he usually goes. So I should probably put you there. We're still expecting Paula, but I will put you over there. Okay, Kevin, you've got your power, so you can move around as much as you want. Yeah, and I think I have to clarify. I really meant who sang the song, not who wrote the song. Okay. So I'll fix that in the uh, thing. Okay, go tell everybody. Yeah. I'll just add or saying. Is that question eight? No, question 10. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't gotten that far. Okay, nine. I'm just copying them over. And 10. So who wrote the song or who sang? Wrote or sang the song, Every Which Way But Loose. Okay. I put it in my notes correctly. Okay, I better get over to my room because, you know, <laughs> I'm going to be so much help. Um, let me tiptoe through the tulips. Can people hear me when I talk? Broadcast message? Go ahead, try it. Oh, I see where it is. No, I hold it down. I think it's something Harry. Uh, oh, let me yell at Dan. Maybe Dan will know. Hey, Dan. All right. Hello, team. I'm here to <laughs> offer absolutely no help. Okay. All right. And the what first says try to Misty for me. Huh? Wendy? Okay, she said play Misty for me. What was that question you guys are talking about? I don't know. Number no, we're talking number play five. Misty. Oh, no, Wendy. Why is your internet so bad tonight, Wendy? It's usually fine. Does Callahan ring a bell with anybody? I like that. Oh, Mark's coming in here. Mark, do you know anything about uh, about Clint? Oh, that's dirty hair, right? Callahan. You know his. Um, let me put myself on mute. Let's go with Callahan. In what movie did he play a radio dish jockey? Play Misty, play for, Misty me. for me. Play Misty for me. Misty for me. And how many Academy Awards has he won? I have no idea. Okay, Mark didn't know his real name. Do we have an answer to one of these? Um, I'm talking to the people. Number one, we guess C for Howard Eastwood. I think his first name. Yeah, because of course he's going to change his name if your name is Howard. Mm -hmm. And we guess he was born in 46. Yeah, Mark was saying he's older than he is. So... 
and we have no idea who Phil Bedeau pet or what is it um Clint Eastwood in his 80s right so yeah so he would be oh shit that's the 30s is yeah, it? I'm 75 and I was born in 47 so yeah. he's I thought he was 80 or or close to 80 like 79 oh here comes Caspian so we're gonna do 79 do we want to say 42 okay all right do we have to say 42? <laughs> we can say 42 plus or That's, minus. Yeah, like 42 80. sounds good. Yeah. Um, so See, I thought number one. eight was any which way but loose. And then number 10 is the song. So I don't know. That's what I thought that, that was the song he did was any any which way but loose. But did, I, was any which way but loose um, a duet? I don't remember. Um billions of years ago so i don't recall so kevin did clarify one of the questions the question 10 mm -hmm. you guys got that who wrote the song or sang the song every which way but loose mm -hmm. okay okay so we think he was born in what year 42 42 81 right now 41 or 42 if if he was born in 42, that means he's 81. Exactly. He could well, be. I mean, he's not young. He's been around. I mean, like, Dirty Harry was, what, 1970-something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he's 80, or at yeah. least 80, or very within a... Yeah. We got a... We got a one, one. Okay, what pet did Philo... Bedeau have? Bedeau, Bedeau have. Who's Philo Bedeau? I don't know. I just remember there was a German Shepherd dog in the movie Grand Tor Torino. Which oh, was he had a he was the guy who did the monkey one. No, he had a chimpanzee. Oh, wait a minute. Remember he did he did that sh um, show um, the movie. When do you remember it? Do you so remember the that anyway? Was any, a, anyway, which okay. yeah, anyway, yeah, but that's the that's the movie. Was that right. one orangutan. It was orangutan. orangutan. Yes, yeah. it was orangutan. Yeah. Okay, what was the orangutan's name? No, it isn't Philo Bedeau. Isn't that the name of Clint? No, what type of pet did Philo uh, Bedeau have? And then well, if Philo Bedeau was the character in the movie, right? And then he had a pet orangutan, is what you're saying. What's I, the orangutan's name? No, what type of pet? Right, and that's orangutan. Right, and then the, the next, next question is, is what is that pet? Oh, name? <laughs> I did. I, I'm barely focusing on one question. <laughs> yeah, how yeah. do we know the name? Oh, his name was um, Lewis, Frank, Bob, Mr. Jingle Jangle, Mr. Bojangles. Let me ask. Let me ask Mark. Okay. Um. So, how many Academy Awards has Mark? he won? Mark? He's been nominated forty-one times. I mean, he's been a director, he's been an actor, but he's also directed quite a few of them. Well, we get so. plus or minus three. Do we want to say five? And I said I guess seven. I guess seven just because lucky number seven. I have no idea. Okay. Well, we have a plus or minus three range. Okay. So. Mark says it's a one word name for that name, and I, I think so like jacks or something or like a jackson mm. do we want to say jack name. i'll put jack as a placeholder um i think you don't remember that i don't even know if i've ever seen the movie but i i it was like super huge i think he has a hollywood star i would think he would wendy would know that for sure <laughs> Let's say he has six because that covers from three to nine. Okay. Um, and then number eight, who did he have a hit song with? See, I thought that was the song. That seems to be the stump of question everybody's stuck on. Good. Nobody will get a 10. <laughs> he had a number one hit song name it or who sang it how about you? dolly parton i don't know she just seemed to be or the year <laughs> it came pick, out pick one, is that, are we you... in question eight is that what we're talking yes. about 
I yeah, like pick an well, answer for each one. If you get any one right, you get it right. You get it wrong. Okay, you know, eight makes a little sense to be Dolly Parton or somebody like that because she was really popular in that time. Yeah, and she um, did duets with different people. She did lots of stuff. And she was yeah. in movies and she wrote songs for movies too. And who wrote or sang Every Which Way But Loose? I can't even remember the tune. Did somebody sing it for me? We never heard it. Is it a female? I can't, you know, geez. I, I, I think what I'm, movie did it come from? I thought it was from the orangutan movie. Yeah. And the orangutan movie was wasn't it like every which way but loose? No, that's that's queen. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> another one bites the dust. Yeah, and that's gonna stick in your head. Sorry. It's a little bit slower. Everybody. All I can think of is him in the movie Pink Cadillac with Bernadette Peters. <laughs> I don't remember that. I watched that a lot. I, um, Caspian had us watch all these spaghetti westerns because he was taking a film appreciation That's lot. the cranberries. Like and the they, and just, there were some amazing movies. Uh, but no, please. Wouldn't okay. it be funny if the orangutan was named Harry? Just because he's... Do we get the radio disc jockey one? Question six? Yeah, play, yeah, play Misty for me. Do oh, we want to say here? I'm dying to see that and I've never seen it. Let's focus in. Okay. <laughs> yeah, focus. Oh, wow. I'm going to have a party and we're Does all Harry watch sound this like a good name for orangutan? Okay. Harry. Harry. Yeah. Is it Harry? Harry. Okay. We don't know if it's Harry, but it would make a good better That name. would go. Yeah. That sounds familiar. So, number 10, who wrote or sang Every Which Way But Loose? Do we get uh, what was Dirty Harry's last name? Callahan. Callahan. Ooh. That's. Did nice. we decide is it uh, Howard or Clint or Junior? We can go back. I I just put Howard, but Howard Eastwood. Yeah. But he might be Clint Eastwood Junior. I don't know. I have no clue. Uh, Clint wasn't like a common. No, well, Clinton. Clint Howard. Clint. Clint. Yeah. Kind of makes sense. Who rang this? Who rang? Who wrote the song? Every way between who? Oh, you know, it, it could be who wrote. Who's like Burt Bacharach or one of those guys that was constantly writing stuff and everybody was, or John Denver. Um, um, who's the guy? Uh, short people that he wrote a lot of things. Oh, that's oh, um, Danny Newman. Newman. Danny Newman. Yeah, Randy, Randy, Randy Newman. Newman. Randy Newman. There we go. Could we put that? Yeah, sure. Why not? That makes yeah. sense. John. It's somebody per, per yeah, Elton John. <laughs> Your people got no reason to He's live. What a mean song. I know be. my short friends would sing it. Um. Okay, so we have Howard for number one, but we can change to Clint Eastwood Jr. If somebody feels really. About no, 1942, Orangutan, Harry Callahan, play Misty for me. Six, Dolly Parton. Yes, he has a Hollywood star and Randy Newman. Okay, I think we did well. How's everybody done, Kevin? It, it closing rooms. Okay, Ooh. you're closing them. Yeah. Okay. We we got some good guesses. We got some good guesses. What'd you get for number 10? Randy Newman. Randy Newman. Not a bad guess, but it's wrong. Oh, well. Hey, get, get the hell out of here. You know what, Kevin? <laughs> you ruined this game for us. This is your team, dude. I know. I'm sorry. It's a good guess. I'm sorry. Does, Does that mean we nobody, should change it now? I bet you nobody thought it was Billy Joel. Yeah, we all thought it was Billy Joel. No, it's not Billy Joel. But we all thought it was. <laughs> Neil Diamond. It was somebody else that I have photographed, and the person. Ricky is, Nelson. And the person is dead. I don't. I never seen him. Who? Who is the the the? the They're killing off people man in black. You, you the can't man change in black, it now. Folsom Prison Blues. What's his you name? Can't change Johnny it now. Cash. Johnny you Cash. Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. Well, we're just guessing now. We're just trying. <laughs> yeah, you're just guessing, but you're also wrong. <laughs> okay. You're it's your mother's Johnny wrong. Cash. It's Kevin, are you Johnny coming Cash. to Psychon now? I'd like to, but I don't know if I have the money. It's a long ways away. 
Well, that means you've got more time to save it up. Yeah. Yeah, but my son is, you know, in Korea <laughs> and I might want to go there first. Y'all, we are. She wants to what? She wants to have him come visit? Or are you want to go? No, to he's Korea? here now. Uh huh. But I want to go to Korea before I go to Vegas. You want to go to Korea? Before I go to Vegas. Why? That's my so son's far. in South Korea. I know, but he's here visiting now. I know, but so what? South Korea. Kevin, like I'm, I'm just if I have the money, this. but if I have the money for Vegas, I'm going Kevin, to Kevin. Clint Eastwood dies. It's your fault. Yeah, Kevin. Yeah, yeah. Because yep. I just pulled up his Wikipedia page, and he, and nice. he's he's a he's a Republican. He's the guy who spoke to the chair. Okay, so the odds are, as as Faith just told us. If Clint Eastwood dies next week, it's Kevin's fault. Oh. oh no, I wrote a category. Oh no. Wait, he's, he's too young to die. He's only 64. He wrote the category about Tina Turner. Well, I just put up his Wikipedia page. It, it, I, I did when I'm blocking. He's dead. No, Who? Clint Eastwood, he's too young. He's only 69. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, right. Jamie's here. Jamie, Jamie, the other Jamie. Jamie and Caspian are here. Hi, hey, Jamie and, and Caspian. Okay, ready for answer? Caspian. Uh -oh. We're ready. Here we go. I'll put him in at the end. His real name is B, Clint Eastwood Jr. Oh, we went back and forth on that. He was born in 1930. Yes. Wow. 30. Wow. 1930. Wait, Bilo wow. Beto. Wait. Did you, Beto. Say, did you say it's Clint or Clinton? It's B, Clinton Eastwood Jr. B, let it be. He said Clint, Jane. You caught me. Oh, I might have said it wrong. You're right. I did say it wrong. Clinton Eastwood Jr. Uh, that's why I did multiple choice. <laughs> um, what type of pet did Philo Beto have? An orangutan. That pets was named was named Clyde. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Clyde. Oh, we put Harry. Clyde. Clyde with a C. Right turn, okay. Clyde. Remember that? Yeah. He punched the guy in the yeah. face. Yeah. Um, Dirty Harry's last name was Callahan. Yay. Yeah. The movie, when he played a disc jockey, was his first movie. Uh, well, I'm not sure if it was his first. It was an early movie, 1971. Play Misty for me. Filmed right around the corner from us. Yep. I've never How seen many it. Academy Awards. Movie. He won 13 Academy Ooh. Awards. Wow. Oh. Don't forget, he was a director, oh. actor, and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, he's done. Did, he ever, did, did, uh, did he ever win an acting uh, Academy Award? I don't know. I don't look up the so. answers. It's got the but I know he, he won four for uh, for one movie alone. I think the Unforgiven movie won four. Mm. Um, number eight. The number one song was a country number one song called Barroom Buddies, Ooh, yeah. Merle Haggard, oh. in 1980. Oh, mm -hmm. man. Yeah, what we get to country person. That's pretty darn good. Bill, Bill well, got we'll both say, of those. Bill got both of those. So we get two points for that, right? No. I only get one point. We Does he have a Hollywood this? star? No, he doesn't. <gasps> Nobody oh. likes him enough to get him a star? No. That's amazing. It cost $50,000. I don't think he cares. And, and we were we were going to say it's twice. we were going to say it's no because he doesn't have anything on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Yeah. No, I spelled it wrong. We're not even sure where that is. Yeah. Oh yeah, I spelled it wrong. Yeah, we had a lot of porn, porn thoughts on that, that one. That but, you know. oh. <laughs> uh, who wrote the song? The guy behind me, who sang the song, Eddie Rabbit. Oh, oh Eddie right. Rabbit. And you have to spell it right, or you don't get the point. E-D-D-I-E. Does he have a, a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? I didn't hear the answer. No, he does not. He does not. Yeah, the 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 the, the person uh, who manages it said um, there's a spot for him right in front of the theater. There's one left there that's close. They've offered to him several times. He's just not interested. I wonder why. It costs fifty thousand dollars. He probably doesn't want to pay it. Oh, Ooh. I thought it had to be raised by like fans. Do you, do you have a link for the answer for number seven to the Academy Awards? Yeah. I'll find it. I don't have it at the top of my head here, but I, I'll find it. 
So the the number one hit thing was interesting because he actually has sang in a few movies, including yes. Paint Your Wagon with Lee Marvin, right. oh, but wow. it was not a hit. Yeah, we thought it was yeah, from Paint Your Wagon also. <clears throat> we discussed that too. Yeah, we couldn't think of it. Good mm -hmm. question, Kevin. Kevin wow. Magic Marker. Yep. The magic Marker. He's 93. Wow. Kevin? I just saw that oh. yesterday, I think. Oh, I just oh, got Kevin's 93. 93rd birthday. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, he, he, just, oh, his birthday. he just had his birthday. So it was, it was on the news today birthday. or yesterday on the yeah. morning news. I saw it. Yeah. 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 Is that That's why you picked him, Kevin? Word. What's that? <laughs> Is that why you picked the category? His name came up somewhere. Somebody's saying he's having a birthday. No, I saw the movie Every Which Way But Loose the other day, and I it remember was, how much I liked it as a kid. Yesterday, the day before. Yeah, May 31st. Hey, do any of you feel the same way as me? I always feel when Kevin's doing something, I'm I'm listening to car talk. <laughs> <laughs> but he's talking by himself. But is he the live brother well, or the dead brother? I hey, even well, know I even well, know what that reference is too. That's because it's from Boston, talk. I think. Oh, I used to I really yeah. Yeah. Miss car talk. I love the My show. It's a Boston thing. If you, yeah. If you see uh, uh, it's a, um, yeah, PBS. See that movie? The same, the same uh, channel that brought you Zoom. Don't drive like my brother. <laughs> yes, don't yeah. drive like my brother. If you've ever, WGBH if you've ever seen, in Boston. If you've ever seen the two, the movie Cars, the, the two trucks that were his sponsor, the mm -hmm. rust stuff, yeah, they were yeah. Tom Now Ray. there's the link to uh, his Wikipedia page. You click on honors and it comes up and it shows the list, the, the list there. If it's not, if it's not, uh, not accurate, I'm sorry. It that that takes me to it's not a accurate, accurate, four accurate, Academy please. Awards. Come on, Jim, we didn't hear you. If it's not accurate, complain to Susan. No, <laughs> I don't deal with him. He's not science. -y. That guy's not sciencey. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so that was interesting. That I'm surprised we you know, we never the categories we get, you never know. Okay, so let's go through our um scores. That, that says he's won four. Okay. I think it's the films that he did. Yeah, that that's not what the question is, though. That's not the question. How many did he win? How that, many that, did that he win? Director. Well, if you if it's your film, you win it. Well, no, if if you if, if he's, according to Wikipedia, his films have won thirteen Academy Awards, but but if the cinematographer and he's not the cinematographer wins, he doesn't get to take home a statue. Mark, Mark Hamill doesn't have an Oscar for Star Wars. Well, I don't know if anyone does, but <laughs> yeah. They don't either, but yeah, like if uh, I, I don't he's, think he's won 13 himself. No, he had not what won. Do you think, we need, we need to re recount. You need to no, no, the statute of limitations has passed. So it's I'm trying to figure out how, uh, how I worded it. Was not correct oh. then, maybe? No. How many awards has he won? Has you didn't say won. as his pictures won. You said as he won. Yeah, yeah but just because a non-actor, I mean, I have an uncle that won an Academy Award for Gone with the Wind. Really? Uh, yeah, and he was, you know, a film editor. Are you going to say that Gone with the Wind didn't win that? The movie? No, that's not the question. I'll say Gone with the Wind won well, that, but I'll, I'll say that. Um, so yeah, Kevin, Clark are Gable you, didn't. Kevin, are you willing <laughs> to accept four, which are the number of awards sitting on his shelf? Actually, according to Google, five. during his films, well, it's plus or minus three. Is the yeah, we, we put like five, 13, which happens 13 to be the right number. number. Well, there is a sentence in the in the Wikipedia page in the lead, it says Eastwood's accolades include four Academy Awards. Yeah, five. oh, so I think, I think maybe he has oh. like a a one lifetime of achievement, honorary award. You guys are just such a joy to hang out with. <laughs> I don't know what to say because, because what I did was I went My to God, who and else I saw the argue over a damn point. <laughs> yeah, no, that's so how many are, are you, you willing see the chat to if you go to Wikipedia the... and you pick that chat awards received by Eastwood's films. That's what right. I misread. Yeah, but right. that's right. So that's are you willing, willing to take the, the awards that he won that he has right? He award he he won. Either four or five. Kevin, what's the answer that we're going to use for the score? We're going to use four or five plus or minus uh, two. Okay. okay. 
Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Okay. Wait a minute. Thank now. You. Thank you. So yeah. five plus two would be okay because we guessed seven. So we're gonna yes. say four. Yep. We're gonna say five. Two to seven is the answer. Two to seven. Okay. Two to so, seven. But there's a problem with changing four. the question now because we based our answer on the plus or minus, you know. He's not changing the question. He's he's giving the points as the question was he's giving the down. correct answer now. Yeah. He's giving correct. the correct yeah. answer now. He's not he's changing the question. question. Well, he's okay. Okay. Well, so the the answer, answer, though, my question wow. was wrong because he because he was nominated forty one times to according to that thing. Arguing true. That's, yes. that's like well, the we, movies and stuff. We it answered really the him. incorrect question Bickering. correctly. So Bickering. shouldn't Bickering. we get points? Bickering. Oh, who's second? Who's category? <laughs> this is for fun, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's answers. Get some scores. I, I want to have some minutes. scores here. You guys are this is fun. All right. So, which trial was that? We had nine. Okay. Clap him in irons for the sixth anniversary of Kofefe. Eight. That 30s to year, wait, that 30s, that 30 years to life show. Nine. All right. Singing and dancing llamas. Well, we had eight and then we just got screwed out of one. So now we have seven. Okay, just just making sure that we got that on the record. They were screwed, just like the llama. <laughs> put, put that on the score sheet. Screw okay. Llamas were screwed. The, the llamas, llamas were screwed. Were screwed. At least the year ago. That's how you get an alpaca. <laughs> and Kevin's own team. What did you do to your and, own team? Um, yeah, we Peggy just arrest can, him already. Hmm? Peggy can take her thing about being screwed and shove it because we went from three to four because of it. So <laughs> four. <laughs> Kevin's own team, Kevin. We also got recovered a point on that one. Yes, yeah, so did Kevin. We. Kevin screwed us. The net game. His own team. <laughs> Nobody it, on our team knows really anything about Clint Eastwood apparently. except for Obama. If you remember that. What? Yes, the chair. I almost the, um, yeah, the oh, RMG. that's right. Yeah. We have a I whole bunch of photos a almost. of ourselves in DC where we're taking pictures with Obama in 2012. I remember. <laughs> Okie dokie, artichoke. Uh -huh. Okay, so Peggy is up next. I hope she knows she's up next. Please. She is up next. I have a vague idea. So um, oh. here's a category for the bird lovers. This is uh, trivia about Corvids. Yeah. The family oh. Corvid. Oh. Corvid. Oh. Corvid. Leonard, Leonard's going to be sorry. Leonard's going to be they? sorry. <laughs> What's a Corvid? It is, is a, a family of car? birds. Like it's, COVID COVID-19? It's a fast car, Susan. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yes. It, it's a car that's an unsafe at any speed. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you don't you, yes, you don't want to deal with a, a flock of crows that's more than 18 because you don't want to deal with COVID-19. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where is Vincent tonight? Yeah, Vincent when you need him. Yeah, Did you guys get Vincent. together and you, you said dad jokes? Dad Murder. jokes. Yeah, where is Vincent tonight? You must have known. Okay. So corvids, right, corvids are a big order of birds that, uh, or big family of birds that includes your common raven and um, crows and other things. So mm -hmm. I can't go much further than that because that would be answering some of the questions. Precisely. Right. So number one is what order do corvids belong to? The family of corvids belong to one of these orders. It is a multiple choice question. Raptors, are they their own group? Are they in the songbird family or order? Sorry. Or are they gulls? So it could be masons. Um, <laughs> I haven't, I, you know, I haven't muted everybody. Okay. We'll be Please good. Do. We'll be good. Is that well? Cool? I don't believe it, but I kind of like hearing what people say. So, all right, you'll know, you'll know that you went too far when I mute you all. <laughs> all, right. all right, we're muting everyone. So I'm no. muting. Oh, we're, we're I'm muted. muted. We're I'm muted. I muted yourself. Why did you mute? <laughs> I'm the boss of this. Because one. we have the power. Uh, we were supposed to mute. Sorry, we never do. Um, number two, which of the following birds is not within the Corvid family? So, is it a blue jay, a jackdaw, a chuff, a common blackbird, or the Clark's nutcracker? Paul is here. 
I'll give you the two questions you're missing, Paula. You're gonna you're gonna love this one, Paula. Is it Paula sports? likes birds? I'm sure. No, the last one was Clint Eastwood. This one is birds. Paula would have uh, nailed that Eastwood. A question. minor point: you've got D and D instead of D and E. Sorry. Actually, yeah, you better with the Clint Eastwood one, I think. Okay, Are you posting them in the chat? Yeah, I'm okay. giving you the two questions you're missing right now. Number yeah, three. One, two. Here comes three. Number three, at what historical tourist attraction can you find six ravens on site kept on with the superstition that if they leave, the kingdom will fall? At least there's one I knew. Oh, come on. Copy there, buddy. Hmm. Number four, what is the collective noun for ravens? What is a group of ravens called? Number five, are crows sexually monogamous? That's a personal question. <laughs> Hey, he's talking about the sex lives of crows. I am. Why not? <laughs> I guess we're not. Birds do it. Bees do it. They do it. We know they do it. Number six, what kind of corvids were the animated duo Heckle and Jekyll modeled after, according to their creator, Paul Terry? I actually thought that was ironic all the time because most bees actually don't do it. <laughs> Many don't. <laughs> they're, they're drones, so they don't. These are hilarious. Some, some of, of them, them must. Some of them must. Yeah, the queen and uh, one. A, well, a drone is more likely to make than the worker bee. There should be a bee category soon after all this. Oh, my God. <laughs> I did one. On bees? No. I remember you did one on poop. I did the birds and the bees once. Oh, that? yeah, you did. But that was all bees. It was like and Larry Peggy Bird. And is doing corvids like right now. No. <laughs> Corvids very, very are often quiet. symbolic, ill omens, and bearers of bad news. What Shakespearean character says, the raven himself is horse that croaks the fatal entrance of Duncan under my battlements? Ooh, that's menacing. There is a, um, I think, pretty strong clue there, but in within the quote. That's why I thought it would be okay to quote Shakespeare, but we'll see. And number eight, corvids are passerine, in quotes, or perching birds, and have an anisodactyl arrangement of their toes, meaning that their toes do what? You know, Kyle's going to be really upset he wasn't here for this category, and same with Leonard. I know, the bird people, you just... Uh, Robin's here, at least. She's, Robin's she's here. Like, happy as a clam right over there. Or happy as a corvid. Happy as a corvid or a raven or something, I guess. Number, am I on nine already? Look at that, how fast yeah. it goes. Number nine, what popular fantasy book series and TV series had the characters using ravens as messenger birds? Mm. Um. One more. And finally, number 10, the American crow and the common raven overlap widely in North American America. Sorry, there's an end there that shouldn't be and look similar. There are a few distinct physical differences between the crow and the common raven that help to tell them apart. Name one. All right. Yay. Do I have power? Oh, I have power. Any questions before you're all sent off to your various roomlets? I don't see an extra M. You don't see what? There's a misspelled word you said in question 10. I don't see it. Um, it Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. Then. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but I feel silly. I don't see it. I'll point Especially it out Especially given that it's Scripps National Spelling Bee Day. Oh, wow. 
Watch out. Karen's probably got that for a category today. Yay. Hey, everybody. Yeah, there yeah. you go. North America, not see. It's it's not misspelled. It's just wrong. Oh, there's an extra N. Thank yeah. you, Troy. She's the opening all rooms. Yeah. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Peggy. La, pa, la, pa, la. It's going to yeah, remember. where am I going? Finally. Where do, one, because they suck. <laughs> I was just there. Feathers right at the base. <clears throat> they have feathers at the base of their beak. And these yeah. little feathers that yeah. come down onto the beak. With crows, the beak is completely bare. Yeah. But if you look at the in profile, that's probably the first thing you'll notice is that the difference in the sizes of the beaks. By the way, yeah. the only thing, the only one that I know, uh, by the way, I think if from number seven, is that Macbeth? Yeah, yeah. it's from Macbeth, yeah. but which which character Macbeth says that? Is it, oh, is it, is it Macbeth or is it? Lady Macbeth. Lady Macbeth. I thought it was Macbeth. But I thought I don't Macbeth know. too. I think Macbeth. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's Macbeth, the king. Under my yeah. battlements. Yeah. Would be, would be yeah. his. Yeah. Okay. The only one I know the answer to is three, and but you guys probably all know that one too, right? What is the Tower, Tower, Tower of London? Tower of London. Tower of London. Yeah. 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 And that was yeah, my that. just a guess. Okay. So, um, what order do corvettes belong to? Uh, they're they're songbirds. The really? songbirds? Wow. Mm -hmm. I didn't yeah. Think of ravens yeah, and crows yeah. as being I, songbirds. Yeah. yeah. I was, think in their own group but they're just you know, yeah i heard Ravens and crows are just fucking noisy. I heard somebody talking about it they said they're passerines which are yeah okay i'm gonna be right back so you guys i'm not gonna be any help anyway so somebody was just We're talking back. about it okay um yeah i'm pretty sure that they're there's they're considered songbirds all right. So then, yeah. then, and number two, do you, uh, uh, Bob, do you know, do you know any of these guys? Well, a blue jay and a jackdaw are corvids. Yeah. Um, I think a chuff is. I'm not sure, but I think a chuff is. Um, I think it's the nutcracker. That's what. I, that's what I wrote. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, didn't nutcracker. Know, I didn't know a blackbird was a corvid, but I, I guess you, you want to settle down. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with the nutcracker, I think. So E. Yeah, I think that's I've got my, my field guide to North American birds about three feet from me. Oh, that if would you can be... see it, you can use it. <laughs> but I don't think I don't know if you're allowed to open it. That's well, the thing. Oh yeah. well I'd have to I'd have to now, open it. It's sitting on the Number four, a a group of crows is a murder of crows, yeah. but it, is it the same for ravens? Anybody know? No, I don't think it's so. A different it's term. Is it a parliament? Is it a parliament? Parliament of Ravens? I think I've heard that, but yeah, it could be. I'm just done. And that it would be, so it'd be an English. It would be an English as an England ter a British term, and that would make parliament. sense. Yeah, they're yeah, they're really crazy. Okay, Parliament of Ravens. Is crows is murder, and I don't think Ravens is. So. No, I know it's yeah. I know crows is definitely different from ravens. Yeah, Par Parliament makes makes sense. Are they monogamous? I don't know. I <laughs> have you ever yeah, seen? Have you ever have you ever caught one playing around? <laughs> you know, now that they've done all the DNA studies, a whole lot of birds they thought were monogamous. Or not. not. Yeah, that makes sense. Because why would they? Uh, yeah. I mean, humans aren't monogamous. Well, there's nothing new there. I know. I mean, but why? Why would we expect any other animal to be the chicken over monogamous? That's so funny. Bob, you need a couple more. You just only have two. Aren't they gorgeous? Who are they? 
Well, these are the babies that hatched in. These are these are Max and Min's kids. Really? Look Max how big is, they are. Yeah, well, they're they're the size of their mom. Max is sleeping out in the coop. When the nights are warm, I let him sleep out there. Then he won't harass them because now he doesn't. He gets turned on. He tries to mount them. And his own maybe, chickens? Huh? His own kids? Yeah, well, he doesn't know. You know, it's they're very. And uh, Min is, got, is, is on eggs again. She's got a couple more days. If anything hatches, about the fourth. If anything hatches, it'll be uh, around the fourth. So okay. she's almost done. So. So are anyway, those sexually um, monogamous? No, I don't think so. Nobody is. That's what Lee just said. So no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's try. I, to no. and I anybody... thought they were the well ravens. I thought they were. So has anybody mm -hmm. seen the animated Do Heckle and Jekyll? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, when I was a kid. But are would they, they would they be minor birds? They, oh. Could they be minor no. birds? No, they're not. Minor birds aren't. Quarters. They don't wear pants. They're not. Okay. I thought I always thought they were magpies. They're either magpies or crows. I think they're magpies. They could be magpies. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I. Because magpies are real character, real characters. You know, they take things and yeah, they're they can be really they're gregarious. Would you guys come up with question two? Uh, the, the nutcracker. Oh, nutcracker. I think it's the nutcracker. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think nutcrackers are. I think they're more like a like a chickadee. Lark's That's nutcracker. Good. Yeah, seven is Macbeth. Uh, we think Macbeth said the line. Okay, covids are perching birds that have it. I don't know Definitely. what that is. What are their toes do what? What can their toes do? Pigeon toes toe toe forward and then back, right? Oh, so one. they have they have that second toe. Does that mean that there are two toes that, that there's two they in the front, back? two in the back? Or two in the back and three in the front? No, they no, birds only have four toes. Oh, okay. Let For me demonstrate. Half and a half. <laughs> See, she's got she's got three in the front and the one in the back. Oh. So that would so, be that would be like your thumb. So they don't okay. have the little finger, but I can't bend it down. So these three fingers are the front toes, and then the thumb is kind of around to the back. Okay. Well, parrots have have another. They have two that have gone to the back, so they can. It's two and two. A good grip. So I think I that's what it. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Okay. Okay. Two and two. Two in the front, yeah, two in the two, back. Two, two in the front, two facing backwards. I learned so, so much in this this yeah. game. I don't know if we're all use it again, but okay. 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 we get the category now. I'll tell you a funny story about toes. Oh. Okay. I mean, so when we said the the uh, ravens have feathers on their beak, or their beak is much larger. So what about nine? Does anybody know about the fantasy well, book? I think Lord of the Rings. The ravens were they would send um they would but it says TV series. There's not a TV series called Lord of the Rings, but there is the Hobbit. Because uh, I know I know it's not it's not it would not be Harry Potter because that was Lord those were owls. Lord the owls. owls. Okay. Um it's a, it's a characters. Yeah, I don't popular. think Lord of the Rings had them as messenger birds. How about um? Oh, yeah, no, no, there was, there was, but if yeah, if she's right about the TV series, there's the Rings of Power, but I don't, which is in that same world, fantasy book series. Yeah, I just thought Lord of the Rings, but yeah, I guess there really isn't a TV series unless it's Rings of Power, but I don't. We saw that, but I don't remember them using. Here, Debbie. How are you doing? Are you guys getting close? We, we're on yeah. nine. We're on. Yeah. Um, what? 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 Does Debbie have the answer, Ellen? What? Um, I yeah, think I. Of her now. <laughs> yeah. I'm so only kidding. You can, they should know the answers. Yeah, unless you can think. 
Yeah, I thought Lord of the Rings, but the TV. Just kidding, TV. Debbie. Yeah, but what are you talking to? The ravens there were just like spy birds. They weren't really messengers. No. I no, wanted they, there was by the way, I wanted Debbie they... to see the chickens is why I Oh, oh. There, there was a scene where the raven there was raven could actually talk. These are the and babies, Debbie. It was in the Hobbit, I think. He comes to the dwarf and he actually speaks. It's an old raven that could speak I, the common language. There was a so raven that was yeah. cracking at the that was that was uh, cracking at the door to split when they're going into the yeah the when they, yeah not, but that's not a TV series. So is the answer the Hobbit or Lord of the Rings? Well, the Lord of the Rings is the whole is world. the whole thing. So that's the series. Well, the and, Hobbit and is was, the, had no. a TV series. And yeah, but there was the Rings of the, there was a Rings of Power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember that. that. Just, um, well, it was no, just that wasn't, and there wasn't but, it it. It wasn't. That wasn't a separate book, though. That's just a separate. Well, it's the same world, though, so I don't know. You know. Okay. I Debbie think something else. It's the Hobbit. Be, I, I would watch say, that. let's go with the Hobbit. Then. Well, did you guys watch or well, anybody you know watch that? Um, yeah, but it's the one with the dragons. The that really popular one that was out. That's all murder and white weddings and red weddings. <laughs> oh, oh. Game of Thrones? Yeah. Did they did use, I, didn't, I never got into it. Did anybody watch it? Did they use it there? That might be, because that was books and TV, a TV show. So that might be it, but I, I, think I never... If nobody... My son was into it. He's not here. Yeah, I, I didn't watch it. Did anybody here watch that? I well, have seen one episode. I saw 10 minutes of no. one episode. Okay, they so if none of us saw it, then that maybe might, that's a good here. idea. Why don't Why don't we go with Game of Thrones? Because yeah, we haven't seen it, so we don't know. <laughs> well, this is a guess question. Let's say this is used. a guess question. Which guess do we want? Hobbit? The Hobbit or Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones. I would go Hobbit with did, Game of Thrones. Hobbit didn't use Ravens. Well. I would go with Game of Thrones, too. How about you, Alan? Sure. Game of Thrones. <laughs> you, Blues Brothers. I'm telling you, there is a scene in The Hobbit where they this old raven comes. They get a this. They send a message to him, and some bird hears him and goes and tells the raven. They they bring the raven comes back, and it can speak the English, yeah. the common tongue. So no, the ravens t delivered messages in The Lord of the Rings. But it, the problem is the TV series, so I'm not married. And that was it, Lord. It was um, the Hobbit. Yeah, it's but it's, it's the Lord of the Rings. It's the 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 world. I know, the world. but the Hobbit is a standalone. Uh, okay, movie. So, I guess we're going to decide. I still think it's Game of Thrones because I because the Hobbit. Yeah, is... let's go with Game of Thrones. Okay, yeah, we'll do that because let's I'm, be that I'm, decision. We don't we have the gotta... an answer for ten, do we? Yeah, we said the beak. Oh yeah. The, uh, the Bob said a particular larger. feathers on the beak, and I said, "Well, the, the beaks are larger." At the, at the base okay, the so beak. going back to the game. Okay, so they're yeah. walking along, and they're trying to get in the back door of that mountain during the Hobbit, yeah. and there is a raven. No, it's a thrush. I think it wasn't a raven. Oh, that yeah, you're right. It was a thrush. thrush. Yeah. No. Okay, so, but they, I mean, but I don't think they really used them as a messenger. One came and gave him a message. But, well, maybe but, sent. Sent. but it wasn't like, like the owls in Harry Potter where they send messages. But, but yeah. if, if we're Let's say Game of pretty Thrones sure Game of Thrones that. also was a series of books. A yeah, they had to have a way of communicating in that world and, and a bird would make sense. When ravens are easy to, are trainable. Look at them. Uh, is it Game of which? Who's got all the dragons and stuff? Is that um, Game, Game of Thrones? Thrones. Yes, yeah. Game of Thrones. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we did good. I think yeah. we have an answer for everything, so that's good. How are you guys doing on score? What did you guys get last time? Seven. Ooh. Seven. Yeah. We're in the ballpark. Well, the game I was the oh, room I was in last time at four. We got screwed, right? Yeah, you. That's right. Robin said, and that's in the other room. Peggy said that. Oh, Peggy said. Yeah, because yeah, right. she's on our team, but not yep. not this time. She well, good job, everybody. 
Yeah, I actually got some of the answers. That was better than I thought, Peggy. <sighs> it wasn't all just bird nerd knowledge. <laughs> well, Zoom just did a weird glitch because when you pulled everybody back, the two people who I was in the room with who were talking to each other got yanked in the middle of a sentence and I stayed there. I oh, didn't that's leave weird. I, well, I well, didn't leave until weird. I hit leave room. And oh, I, I, have special, I have special yeah. instructions for you, Rob. Oh, yeah, I could have just stayed there the whole rest <laughs> the of the world's out to get you. <laughs> me too, Rob. That that's, happened to me as well. That's weird. Special powers. Yeah. I saw something similar. Two of our people disappeared from the screen and two stayed on. So is a Zoom right. glitch. New software has Zoom glitch. It's you, Rob. They're out to get you. Yay! Yay! Slide oh, show. Nice. Yeah, this, oh, yeah. Look at those pretty. Okay, there's a tile page. Corvid described. Am I? Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. It sounds like it's delicious. <laughs> yeah, it's uh my delicious popcorn. Okay, Corvids are a cosmopolitan family of Aussie passerine birds, and that really helps, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, one was songbirds, and I'm sorry, I don't remember the letter. C. C. Here, it has to be, oh. oh, Lee needs to get admitted. I got him. Okay. So Wait. songbirds is C. Number two is the answer is D. Oh. One not a car Corvid is the common blackbird. Oh. Uh -huh. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Um, all right. They don't look too common. That's a pretty bird. Pretty bird. Yeah. Oh, well, most birds are. Hmm. Number three is the Tower of London, where the ravens are, without whom the kingdom would fall. There's two they answers. They, they you can them use. So they can't oh. fly away. <laughs> oh, <laughs> an unkindness. <laughs> you can use unkindness Yay. or conspiracy. Yay. But many of us um, learned that term from reading Ruth Rendell, and that's why there's a copy of her book there. Oh, wow. This this was a difficult oh. question, and I apologize. So crows are not sexually monogamous. They are socially monogamous, and the couples do stay together. But not all offspring are related to the male partner because <gasps> they're bloody. Use the S word. Yeah. Hey, free bird. Free Sorry. bird. Wait, so what's the answer? Because there, it's yes and no. no. Yeah, no. we are not sexually oh. monogamous. Okay. <laughs> they have an open relationship. <laughs> yeah, Paula. Yeah, was about sex. So, yeah, sorry. Um, Number six, modeled after the yellow-billed magpie. We just put magpies. Yeah. Sure right, right? And I will take, I'll take magpie. Okay, Although I heard someone, I think it was Carl, actually refer to the actual right well, magpie. Of course. Yeah. Well, well, <laughs> <laughs> um, for us mortals is oh, uh, we Number said seven. somebody told us Lady Macbeth and they said, oh. Oh. He just said Macbeth. I thought it was Macbeth himself oh it's well that's the play that. is that enough so, I just I, I was surprised that none of you kind of just figured that the feminist angle would be you know the one I would take but um uh, I think, did, did anybody get this one right? If nobody no, got it right, I'll take either or. They got the right play. We got Ironically, the right play. we dismissed. We just said Macbeth. Dick. Yeah, we well, dismissed but, Lady Macbeth. But Lady, but Lady yes. Macbeth is Macbeth because that's her last name. So <laughs> why is that not correct? No, because she's Macbeth. always referred to as Lady Macbeth. Right. We Macbeth prefer the, the gender Macbeth. neutral Macbeth. Yeah. Yeah. No, the answer is Lady <laughs> Macbeth. So you list the dramatic persona at the beginning. If you said <laughs> Macbeth, so Pride Month, we have trans Macbeth. They can go either or. No, they if you said Macbeth, like lady, you were referring to the king. Word. So it is wrong. I'm so, sorry. If everybody but, gets it wrong, it's just as good as giving everybody a point. So okay, you don't yeah. get it right. We'll lower the average a little bit. Number eight. This means oh. That oh. three toes oh. face forward and one faces backwards. Oh. And that's, that's related to the whole perching hint, you know? Do, do we have to get the count right or can we just say some forward oh, and some I back? I will accept some forward, some back. Okay. <laughs> oh. So so we wrote lock in place, which is the yeah. reason that they go, because it says do what? They do what? Yeah, there's an that's, action. That's an action word. Do. But that, but the technical term that she gave us may not refer to that particular right. locking mechanism. What is it about? They, they do what? It they says do what? For a so verb. Meaning applied. they do what? Yeah. yeah. Three toes face forward. One toe faces that's backwards. That's what the toes do. 
That's a do thing. Uh, no, God, that's I... not a do thing. Oh, no, I understand. That's that's a next question. A verb, <laughs> it is a verb. Move on, dot org. Facing. Yeah. Number nine is either Game of Thrones or Song of Ice and Fire. Yes. Yay. I know some of you got that one. Can we get, we get double points, points if we got both of them? Uh, Nick Nickname on the Ubble Day Point A's. <laughs> number 10. So there's a number of things you could cite. This little thing graphic gives you some of them. You've got size and ravens are about twice as big as, as crows. Wingspan, much bigger. Um, the tail is the one that is the easiest to tell when they're flying because you got the so down here, you've got like the longer tail with feathers and then they make a diamond and then the tail for the crow is kind of just a flat fan thing. The beaks are quite different and there's um, shaggy feathers um, on the neck and there's a curve on the raven beak that they, although they say that and then you look at it and you know, they both look curved to me, but anyway, any any of those things would be fine. And if you came up with one that isn't on the list, and you and it is a physical something you can see. I could take that too. Anybody have a, a pitch that's not on the list? Look at that beautiful wingspan pattern. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. That's it. Oh wow, they're a lot heavier. 2.6 pounds versus one pound. Yeah. They're Yay. a lot bigger. Much bigger. And, and most of what we see big are crows though. Yeah, well, and I mean, crows are pretty variable inside. Even the ones that come by my house, there's a lot of variability, but they're nowhere near as big as the ravens. Mm -hmm. yeah. ravens yeah, it's hard to tell. Like mm -hmm. turkey, I was, turkey, turkey. I was watching the blackbirds today, uh, dive the crows, and like literally, they'd come down and sit on their backs. <laughs> just, I mean, they were really irritating. So the red-winged blackbirds are very aggressive mm -hmm. right now. They're nesting. Yeah, they get they get mean. I've been dive bombed by those guys. Yeah, I I was too when I was a kid in Oakland. I got dive bombed by starlings, I think, in the garden store yesterday. Uh, store. <laughs> in the store. Right in the back. <laughs> I mean, it came down and got me on the back of the head. Oh, it's a popcorn, Troy. God, that looks good. I had to change the route to high school when I was riding my bike because I was dive bombed by a blackbird going the shortest route. <laughs> one of the one of the signs in Salem at Bush Park, there's a there was a um barred owl that attacked a doctor who went out for a jog just before daylight, before his shift. And so they had to block off this whole park area because this barred owl was attacking people. Wow. Okay. I, think, I, think, I, I think I've heard of somebody sort of came up with a solution, putting a sort of a tall feather on the hat or something, and, and, would, <laughs> and, and they'd aim for the highest point on the... Oh, so they mess with your feather? Yeah. I'm looking well, at Paula. She's cracking me up. That, 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 she just... all feather. that would be a good solution. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, let's go to scores. We have some great conversations, but let's see. All right, so can't we just arrest him already? I gave you Paula, so you should have done better. Six. And hey, she, may yeah. we see the share screen? Yeah. Show us oh, my God, you added, guys. For added yes. excitement. We cannot do something different out of or, Susan, or Susan. You have one job. I know. <laughs> People are giving you the power. Flex. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. All right. So there you go. Singing and dancing llamas. Six. I six. guess. That's yeah. what I got two six. Okay. Yeah. So Clapham and Irons for the sixth anniversary of Kofefe. Six. Six. Oh dear. <laughs> Which trial was that? Oh, we had five. Uh oh. <laughs> Ruh oh. Ruh oh. That 30 years to life show. We should have done better, but we got seven. Ooh. No what? I think you just split them up right there. Okay. You guys were all tied up and everything. And then we here didn't comes count Lady Macbeth. We kept we said Macbeth, Macbeth. Yeah, yeah we did. Like okay, well, that's 
wrong, but okay. Paula, you changed your clothes. <laughs> yeah. Paula, I want her to come up to my house dressed like that. <laughs> I want that. That'd be hilarious. I just watch her talk all day long and wander around with her big head on. She'd probably fall over and fall on. Anyway. You do understand she's wow. not actually wearing a head, right, Susan? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not actually That's in the good. Overlook Hotel either. That's good. Look at, look at Rob. Hey, Rob's <laughs> into it, a, too. Yeah. We have a broom named after you at our house, Paula. I was what? asking for the Paula broom. Oh, the broom. Yes, I know. She's got a broom name. Okay, so everybody clean up. Put your best kofefes on. Oh, I'd have my cat here, but she's sleeping next to me. Oh, are you going to do pictures? Yeah, oh, she goes like this. It's tradition. Everything <laughs> has to be done in its order and its place. This is the step. Okay. Okay, ready? One, two. And three. Well, he's got a llama. How do you get a llama? <laughs> the last minute he grabs a llama. That's good. That, that's one of the dancing llamas. <laughs> now, see, it's, it's a llama. Fernando llamas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so five minutes, y'all. I'm keeping the recording running. Okay. Bye, then. I'll see you. No, Bye, Jim. We can get the book club. Anyway. No, no, you don't need to go to the book club. Bye, right, Jim. But you sit here. Okay, so I got that. Pictures up. Karen's gonna probably run over there and tag everybody right now. You are not a hat. They won't let me go. Oh, I wanted to show people something. So I'm gonna show you this. It is uh, I'll only show you a minute of it because I don't want it to go two minutes. That'd be too long. But this is what I recorded when I was at um, uh, the Tower of London. So let me show you. We walked out of this. We walked out of this tour we were on, Mark and I, and I came out, and this is what we saw. So let me show you. The Ravens. Oh. <laughs> I remember you posting this picture. And FYI, everyone, the raven in England is the same species as the raven in California, New York, wherever. North America. Listen, listen to his, when he starts going, it's so interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's, he's got a remote control. <laughs> Listening to the plane go over. It's amazing. And he's got a band on his leg because he's sort of semi. Um, oh, yeah, you're right. Hey, he's semi... monogamous. He's a, that's a wedding ring. <laughs> <laughs> He's a semi pet, I should say. Semi domesticated. That goes, oh. My cats think that noise is kind of interesting. It makes a lot of different noises. They're amazing creatures. Look at them. Just incredible. So, pretty bird. Tower of London um, was very interesting. Really interesting place. Oh my gosh, it's got 1,600 views on that video. <laughs> I haven't looked at it. I have never read that. Okay. But yeah, and they have the birds there. They have, them. oh, there's another one. <laughs> they have, a, a, but they, they have, they do have a cages with the birds and then they have people who are whatever bird people are called experts that really do take care of the ravens they're incredible. i was very disappointed by the the tower of, i thought it would be taller the tower of london <laughs> tower shaped really oh. well you got to realize it was built back in the 11th century yeah, it was built 2000 years ago but people were shorter back then 
<laughs> Talk about me being here all. Oh, and I'll I'll put this in the chat if anybody wants to see it. But I'm not going to put this on a screen share. But this is something else I record always. There. I love to just record just random things when I'm going places because I always think that people, you know, somebody might might find some interest in it. But I'll I'll show this. This was um when we walked in at one point they had like the history of the Tower of London, but it was all it was all done in shadow around the room. And it was it's just interesting the way they did it. Anyway, so I'll give you that to look at. It's only four minutes long. And I shall be right back. Oh my God. Shit. Uh oh. My my phone fell down. Hi. Stop it. Uh-huh. About what? Wendy, you want, might want to mute yourself. Yeah. I can't believe how quiet this group is. Like never this quiet. Quiet. How hot is it there, Gail, in Las Vegas? I, it's beautiful. It's is not. It? A, it's it's um, uh, wonderful. Wonderful temperatures, according to my uh, my computer right now, it's eighty three degrees, which in the desert is really nice. Right, not humid. It won't it last long though. It was about 90 here yesterday. Well, it was warmer earlier today. Yeah. But right now it's 83, according to the computer. It's been cold here all day. It's been yeah, cold. It's 55 right now. Yeah, it's, right now. it's colder here than it was in April. Ooh. Yeah, yeah it's actually, right. Yeah. yeah, it's been cold here the last couple of days. Well, it's Oregon. Oh, no, you do have those hot days too, so. <laughs> Yeah, occasionally. I like it cool. Yeah, me too. I'm much, much more so, cool person. The Senate passed the debt ceiling. Yeah, bill. I just saw that came in. And you know what? That has been the biggest piece of nonsense all this months. And we knew, of course, it was going to get passed. There yeah, was no but way it was going to be passed. Just, just a bunch of theater. <laughs> So stupid. Stupid. Theater that they let drag on three days before. I know. There's got to be better things to talk about. We could be talking about anything. Or something. Hey, public, public urination. Apparently, Bill Cosby's getting sued again. Yeah. Um, well, Trump okay. was asked about the fact that the debt ceiling was raised a unanimous vote with no objection twice during his administration. And he said, why did that happen? And he said, well, of course, because I was president. <laughs> <laughs> and he's right they and just he's right stupid thing okay so let's do our let's do our little announcements so uh the things i have to announce are coming up with the santa cruz county skeptics and the monterey county skeptics we're going to go see a bigfoot museum and we're going to go to the mystery spot coming up in a couple weeks 
And uh, it's Saturday. That's going to be fun. And then on the 17th, we're going to go to Fremont's Peak. Uh, Cindy suggested that's a, it's not too far from us. It's an observatory. That same day, the Bay Area skeptics are having a meet and greet up at the computer museum up there with Leonard, who's going to give us a tour of the museum. And I really want to do that too. So it depends on the hours so that I could be able to get back to be able to go up to the peak. Because well, Fremont Peak, the, the nighttime observation starts at 8.30 p.m. And We're supposed the to be website, there before it gets dark. And the website recommends you get there before or around the sunset mm -hmm. time, which is around 8 p.m. Or later, rather. This time but of about year. now. It's still and light it out now. The, yeah, but just get there before it gets really dark because they don't want you to use your flashlights. Although they do have the red lights uh, in the ground on the path. You're supposed to take your flashlight and put a red thing over the front of it, like a piece of red paper or something. You like can that. do that, or you turn it okay. off and, and then you just go hey, by the red lights get, that they have on the um, trail. Get tail light tape and put over your flashlight. Oh, yeah. To your maintain headlight. your night vision. Well, we're in, the cars are supposed to park a, kind of a ways away from the um, observatory. So it's just on a hill. Anyway, so that's coming up for us. Um, we don't have any podcasters here, right? Carl's not here. I mean, Kyle's not here. <laughs> okay. Kyle's over here. I cannot win. Kyle's not here. Richard Saunders isn't here. Um, oh, Adrian's not off. here. They're all gone today. That's weirdly weird. Mm -hmm. I have, um, let's see, I have a talk that I just did, and it was called um, We Can Reason. And I just, it's a little long, but it's just Susan just, winging it i talk about operation onion ring and fairly detailed just off the top of my head and have a few screenshots if you're interested in that i thought it was interesting there's a webinar that i did with kenny biddle and uh richard saunders that'll be a couple weeks before it comes out the psycon videos have been coming out little in bits and pieces and kenny biddle's just came out um today that he did and he had a really good job. He did a really good job at Psycon. It was his first time being the main being a main stage speaker. And he did a terrific job, especially since they told him to shave five minutes off of it, like mm -hmm. as he's standing on the stage to start. And <laughs> that was, oh, that's wrong. You don't do that to people, but that's what they did. So to keep on time. But that would mean that my talk is probably going to be coming out pretty close to being next because I was Kenny and I were about the same. It was one and then the other, I think. So mine should be coming out really soon. And um, I'm going to put in the chat again, and I'll be talking about this a lot. They've announced that PsyCon dates and the PsyCon speakers and the PsyCon Halloween party. A lot of us are going to be going. Like to see a lot of you guys there. It's so much fun to be able to meet in person and hang out. And I just can't say enough about it. I I'd just I just I just booked the hotel, so I suggest people do that because you can cancel any time up to seventy two hours before. So there's nothing to lose, but it's a limited time discount. So why not and, do it? And the hotel is all uh, they sell out their block yeah. of hotel suites all yeah. the and, time. So. And Kyle's not here. Kyle's not here to uh, to uh, attest to that. But he to, went to, to that, week but he week. he got sold out to, and he had to walk from another hotel every morning. Yeah, and it was far. It wasn't like right there. Vegas is kind of spread apart. So just keeping that in mind, y'all. Um, is there anything else that we have? Rob, do you have something coming up? No. Nope. You're going to be doing an interview of all these speakers. I'm going to, I wrote Barry. Barry said absolutely he wants me to do it. I, I have to send him names so he can, you know, um, grease the skids and get me contact information. So, yep. Okay. Anything else I need to know? Nope. I think Jane from um, California is is singing this out running around singing if i remember correctly i kept me meaning to go over and do something but i can't today i am just like fuddled as far as times and dates i don't even know what it is going on anymore i was 5 30 today and i looked at the clock adrian says susan i don't think i'm gonna make it to trivia i'm having my head hurts and i said oh oh my god it's 5 30 <laughs> i was like shoot i thought it was like three just everything's off okay i don't know what's with adrian i keep telling her to try the homeopathic remedy for migraines and she won't do it maybe that's <laughs> why she's got migraines because she's trying it we have uh i'm turning in an article after i finish talking to y'all today i'm going to turn in an article for skeptical inquire i have it all ready to go i just need to 
turn in. All right, so I guess let's move along like like um, uh, herding sheep. So we are on round three. From what I understand, that would mean it's round three. It must be Karen's turn. So let's make her co-host. Let me rip these out of uh, Peggy's hand. And Karen's questions are going to be perfect. Karen's questions. <laughs> I, I'm predicting she's going to pick the questions today based on today being June 1st. I have a few. No, no, come on. That would be very predictable. Yeah. The one thing I would I like to say, though, is I'm with Peggy. I like to hear people. And uh, if we get way out of hand, that's one thing. But I like to hear okay. what people are saying. Okay. So don't mute them, in other words, Faith and Romero. So today is, um, whoops, cut and paste, Karen. Is the uh, category the today, I mean, you can mute yourself individually if there are noises going on, but I'm saying not everybody. Okay. Today's category is milk now there are a lot of that could be a person it could be a, a verb you know it could be I like milk it could be a noun right <laughs> so um on this world milk day <laughs> ah, i told you i told you here are 10 perhaps interesting facts about the dairy product we think we know well some love it while others hate it but there's no way we can ignore milk credit the trivia content and 99 percent of what i ju just said thus far uh to i'm sorry omit the word goes to critica benerji of reader's digest <coughs> india you will notice the spelling differences between a u.s american english speaker writer and an indian english speaker writer this information was published on June 1st, 2020. So if you're aware of updates to this information, please erase them from your memory bank <laughs> and reset them to June 1st, 2020 at 1800 hours Indian Standard Time. So oh, if anything was discovered from that point forward, you're just going to have to erase it from your memory banks. All right, people in the future. Get on that, Mr. Peabody. Okay, there you go. So <laughs> here we go. Questioni number one. That's not oh, no. <laughs> Here Way we go. Back machine. Okay. The Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO of what organization, says the date of June 1st was chosen because many countries were already celebrating this national milk days around this time. Initially, a date was in late May, was proposed, but some countries like China already had a lot of events scheduled during that time. <laughs> so <laughs> no so intelligent people actually thought about this. And some countries celebrate World Milk Day a week before or after this date as well. Which organization spent time contemplating this? <laughs> so there's okay. two spaces. So they're two different no, words it, or the I, same word? No, I what meant of, what organization? Of the, no. Oh, those are quotes. Yeah. No, it's not. It was a line. And into the line, instead of having a blank, I wrote what organization? So oh, you're gonna me, okay. You're going to give me what organization? <laughs> okay, I get it. Well, I'm really up to speed. My gosh, I'm okay. firing in all, all something. Okay. okay, something weird is going on. <laughs> Enter. There we go. The history of cow's milk goes back to 10,000 BC when nomadic tribes decided to settle down, start farming, and domesticate animals. In ancient Egypt, it is believed milk was available only to the royalty, priests, and the uber rich. Uber rich, that is an Egyptian phrase. <laughs> In fact, until the 17th century, milk was not even a preferred choice of beverage in European countries. Blank and blank were far more popular. Name either of those two beverages for one point. Blank and blank was the beverage of choice in European countries. Name, name either of those for one point. Okay. Uh, number, thir number three. By the 19th century, by the 19th century, century enter uh milk started becoming popular in europe and the u.s but only for children it was not until louis pasteur invented pasteur pasteurization making milk a safe drink for many that the beverage really took off well you get the idea of that sentence according to uh according to an article in smithsonian magazine then u.s president 
blank, so you're going to give me the name of the president, mm. that person's Surgeon General released a 600-page report in 1908 that, quote, attributed most childhood deaths to impure milk and argued that pasteurization was the best way to address the ongoing public crisis, end quote. So we're looking for the name of that president, please. Okay. And number four. A 250 milliliter glass of milk, says the FAO, uh, defined in question one, can provide a five or six year old 48% of their dietary protein requirement, 9% of calories, and key micronutrients like calcium, magnesium, selenium, and blank vitamins. You want a letter there. And that is not a typo. The plural, the, the plural vitamins is but you're only seeking one letter, okay? And nobody say anything. Okay, so number five. Somebody's being an asshole, it says? Okay, number five. That's Robin, yeah. Okay, uh, number five. Excuse me. While milk is recommended for children, we are not sure if, if adults need to have it too. Vasante Malik, adjunct pro assistant professor of nutrition at the blank, choose from the below choices, T.H. Chan School of Public Health says adults can get nutrients like calcium and protein from other sources in their diet. Quote, there's really not a reason to consume milk unless you like it. She tells USA Today in a 2019 article and adds that even if you want to continue drinking milk, you can opt for low and non-fat milk against the full cream version. And that's her... That that's the way it's printed in the Indian page against the full cream version. So what? Um, where is the T H Chan School of Public Health? Is it A Yale, B Harvard, C Princeton, or D Cornell? All righty. And Cornell has two L's. Thank you very much. I did not go there, and uh, spelling is maybe one of the many reasons why. Ramiro did. Yay! Yay, Cornell! Okay. They got a good hockey team. All right. They scrapped me up. Six. Why? Okay. <laughs> didn't work. Okay. Here we are. Control cut. Paste. Okay. That's not working. What's wrong, people? Control okay. Deal. We'll do, um, let's just start that again. Okay, nothing is locked. Control C. Hmm. Okay, I have a, I have a, for some reason it's not cutting and pasting anymore. So I'm um, sorry for folks. I'll try and figure this out. Let me. Go it ahead. might be too. It might be too long, depending when you try to paste it in. Uh, oh, Karen's just milking this category. <laughs> is it is it is it a very long one, Karen? Because okay, you're, you're, you're probably. Near Thank the character you. limit with the ones you've gotten already sometimes. Thank you very much for that. Of late, several concerns have been raised about animal milk, uh, with many asking if we are at all supposed to have animal milk in the first place. As babies, our bodies are able to make a special enzyme called lactase to digest blank, fill in the blank, found in mother's milk. Once we are weaned, this function stops. This also explains why many of us experience flatulence and stomach aches after having milk. Adult mammals, including dogs and cats, don't produce lactase. However, experts now say that with evolution, lactase persistence has kicked in with many adults, allowing them to drink the beverage without side effects. And I will lead. Uh, I will leave out uh, the final sentence. It's it's not relevant, and it was too long, as um, Rob pointed out. Thank you for that. Number seven. Number seven. Uh, did you know that, okay, this is not a yes or no question. <laughs> it does ask a question, but ignore that question. Did you know that India is the largest producer of milk and accounts for 22% of global milk production? You get no points for answering that question. <laughs> it, is followed, it is followed by the US, China, blank and blank. Name either of those nations for one point. So, so U.S., three, China, four. blank and blank, and name either for one point. So three and four. Okay. Uh, please don't. Uh, Bob, remember you're see, unmuted. Th this is why you need to mute people. No, no, I'm saying. Know, he's talking about chickens. 
They don't Blind know they're not muted. Yeah. Okay, according to the FAO, defined in question one, milk production has been the maximum growth in South Asia, 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 Asia since the 1970s. <laughs> uh, India's National Dairy Development Board was also set up around the same time. That's 1965 at uh, 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 Gujarat Anand with Dr. Vengis Kurian at its first and its first as its first chairman, Lal Bahu. Udur Shastri, then Prime Minister of India, during a visit to the Amul factory, Amul factory in October of blank, what year, was highly impressed by the dairy cooperative's way of functioning and wanted to model to be replicated across the country. India launched Operation Flood in July 1970 to lay the foundation for viable national dairy industry. So they toured the, they visited the factory in what year, you're going to give the date, and then they implemented this in July of 1970. That's a plus or minus of one year. Okay. So we give you when they implemented it, and you're going to guess what was the duration of time, basically, between those two events. The idea and the carrying it forward. Okay, number nine. But if you're thinking uh, Joe Arat is the highest milk producer in the country of India, oh, no. You're wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are wrong. According to Shastista in the financial, and again, people who have a, an intimate knowledge of India will have a little advantage here. In the financial year 2019, Uttar Pradesh, uh, Rajasthan, and Mahidia Pradesh and Andhra Pradesh were the top milk producers, followed by Jurugat. You see, you thought that they were only number five. UP alone produced, okay, here's the, here's the crust, crux produced 30.5 million metric tons of milk. Notice the, the spelling. While India's total milk production stood at blank million metric tons. And I'm giving you plus or minus 30 million. Yes, we are. We're giving you plus or minus number. 30 million. Possibly, or might you overthink it? Hmm. Ooh. Who knows? This group. Who knows? What? This group. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Could I be tricky trying to trick you? Who knows? <laughs> so here's the final one, number 10. Okay, there's a bunch of symbols here that I did not Let me backspace that. Okay. <clears throat> okay, here we go. In India, the dairy movement is closely tied to blank, two words. While women always played an integral part in dairying by feeding and taking care of the cattle, the women, the women Dairy Collective Leadership Program was launched on a pilot basis in 1995 in, in Balsad, uh, Kolpur, Wayanad, and Goa to bring women to the forefront. India, as per the National Dairy Development Board, now has four 3.8 lock women dairy producers. If you get the gist of it, if you get the gist of the two words, you will get a point. Please keep in mind that I am empowered to decide. Ooh, she wrote that in the rules. Any, wow. quest any questions? Okay. No. Go to your room. Very good. Ah, Lee, I got to put you back in your room. You are in two, I believe. Thank you. Okie dokie, Hunter Chucky. I really should have gone and made some popcorn on the break. Susan, I'm in the wrong room, and I always do this, and I'm so sorry. You're supposed to be in two? I don't, yeah, I don't have powers anymore. You took them away from me. <laughs> okay, so nobody say anything until I get Peggy in her correct room. Unless well, it's Friday. Two. Hi. Okay, she's gone. <laughs> now we can talk about her. <laughs> okay, I'm just trying to scroll the screen that Troy has up here. I know I do that this all the time. Too much. This is too much India. Well, it was an Indian. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know Indian number trivia. one. You number should one. know all these, Janine. I, I think we should just sit back and let you do them. Go for well, it. Girl. No, because because I don't know all this stuff. I don't know anything about dairy and in. I'm sure I you know more than we do. FAO, no, that's, no, that's okay. the USA okay. The FAO. The FAO is part of the United Nations, but it's located in Rome. I'd they like have to many suggest... visiting scientists that come through there. 
Yeah, doing I'd that. suggest either United Nations or U UNESCO. No, Janine just said it. Oh, it's oh. United Nations. Okay. It's located in Rome, which is kind of weird because the United Nations is in in New, New York, York, but the FAO is in, in Rome. The only one I know is the second one, and I think it's milk and wine, uh, wine and beer. So I just wanted to say that like I knew I something. Was thinking, I was thinking mead and beer. Beer. Isn't that the same thing? They're well, talking we need, about the yeah, seventh. We only need one of them, so let's say beer. American thing, isn't it? Kind of. Well, it was your game as well. I'd say beer. Yeah, Maybe we know beer Vegas, existed. Yes. Beer. Yeah. It's very long. You might and I think of Brazil. This is about Europe. Europe in the 17th century. I know uh, water was contaminated a lot, so people got sick drinking water. They didn't, but they mm -hmm. did do beer because it's not. Yeah, I think beer is a safe one to put. Okay, so number three. But we need two. Oh, either one. No, or we just only need one. one of them. Oh, got it. Theodore Roosevelt. Yeah. Yep. Tr. Uh, who? Teddy Roosevelt. Tr. Teddy. Oh, Teddy. Theodore. Yes. Teddy, well, not Teddy. not Fdr. Teddy. Teddy. <laughs> Correct. Because of the year nineteen oh eight. Yep. Okay. Four. Okay. B. Two hundred and fifty mil glass film is... can provide five year old. So okay. Um so give me the name the letter. Nine percent of calories and key micronutrients like calcium, magnesium, selenium, and B vitamins. What vitamins are Would it be in D? Milk? B. No, D, D is the added one that comes in different D is numbers. added. As in Bravo? So I think B. Yeah. yeah. The fact it's that added to reduce the amount of it's it's the in the United family. States. No idea. So we're supposed to know where this adjunct professor is from? I would oh, say, of wait, not, no, not the Cornell Chan School of Public Health. That's a good so, point. where's the Chan School of oh, Public Health? Janine didn't write the questions. The um, Somebody else, I mean, not Janine. Um, Karen. Karen didn't write the questions. So, they, so that might have been like left off whenever she copied it, the extra L or. Um, okay. So, which of these universities is most likely to have a nutrition program? Well, I think they all have nutrition yeah. programs. Where is the Chan School of Public, the T.H. Chan School of Public Health? I think that's the main. Harvard. I know that Fine Cornell does a lot of agriculture. My uh, aunt graduated there as a veterinarian. Cornell's and an ag school. Where did you say, Troy? Did you say Cornell too? I think Cornell. Um, Cornell's my, the my only ag graduated as a house. Never mind. Yeah, I don't. Okay, so Cornell is what? What do you guys think? Well, sure. no. I have no yes, argument. For any let me finish what I was saying. Is because yes, if she says it's an ag school, that makes sense because I had an aunt who graduated from Cornell as a veterinarian, and she met my uncle that she married. Who graduated as a marine biologist? Okay. Also, uh, those, let me let me make a comment. Correct. Cornell's the only ag school listed, but the yeah. public health could be. I don't know could any of them related to Yale. Um, medical would be school. the other. But since it's milk, let's go with the ag school. I agree. It's interesting. I never thought of the fact that maybe we aren't supposed to be drinking milk. Nah. <laughs> that's that's just... I mean, we've yeah. never had anybody in my family that's had problems with milk that I know of, so it didn't even dawn on me. When people say they have problems with milk, you go, oh, that's right. Some well, the answer, okay, the answer here is lactose. Yeah. 
Sorry, I was oh, yeah. sleeping or something. <laughs> yeah. She wants to know what it is, though. An enzyme. Sugar. Oh. Oh, you're right, because it's nice. Lactose is the sugar. Right. And lactase is the enzyme that breaks down the sugar. Right. Yeah. And that's why lactose I is colored. It's generally the problem with people. I like my butter. So on uh, number seven, it's India is the largest producer of milk, but isn't that kind of make you think, but they're the largest country with the most people, so. Well, they're followed by China and we, the U.S. is We huge. were discussing this. Just a minute. Let me go back to John on this. Yeah. Who would be the third, fourth? India, China, U.S., and... If I had to guess, just off the top of my head, uh -huh. I'd guess probably Russia and Canada. Well, Canada may be big, but I don't think they have that many people. So okay, they have John thinks... It's not thinks, that huge, no, but... I don't know what... John yeah. thinks it's Pakistan and Brazil. Oh, Brazil's... A well, good. he sounds like he knows what he's talking about. I'm wondering about Argentina. Well, let's pick Brazil. Think, that's, that's really populous. And they've got a lot of cattle over there, right? Yeah, Argentina, though, is known for its beef. So presumably it's also going to have a very strong dairy industry. Yeah. So it could be Brazil and Argentina. But we only have to pick one. I'm, I'm, I'm going to trust John. Brazil? Brazil? Pakistan? Sure. No, I don't think Pakistan. I don't see why not. It's right next to India. It's huge. Yeah, yeah. I go with either one of those. Okay, hey, well, we got to pick one. Let's go with Pakistan. All right. Pakistan. I don't have to go with Brazil, but I don't care. So I don't know. I'm just typing. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. I'm here for. I'm just good job. <laughs> okay. All right. So. So you're right. It's before 1970, question eight. So, but it's after 1965, right? Yes. All right. So. 1967? Probably gives us the best guess, or 68, maybe. Since the 19th. Well, the prime minister, they, she gives the prime minister of India. Which would be great if I knew the prime ministers of I India. I don't know the year. prime ministers of India either. <laughs> um, Very I do know that in the 70s, um, that India did a whole big turnaround. There was a big change in wheat production. We had to study... India's agricultural rebirth, but well, I, okay, I'm gonna guess sixty-eight is a better answer because usually bureaucracy takes so long to get anything done. If we put sixty-seven, mm -hmm. which is another good year, considering you got the one year plus or minus, the longer sixty-eight makes a little more sense because it just takes forever to get anything done. Right. So on that basis, if the visit was in October of, say, 69, could they have pulled this together before July in the following year? Good point. In October, possibly the year before, which would have been 68, in which case we should say 67, because that will get yeah, us. Yeah, that does make more sense. What do you guys yeah. think? logicking it no, out i'm still having trouble following the okay question. i'll say it again so you no, see i i got that i was just i'm reading the question oh That's, yeah 67 sorry. Makes i have sense. eye problems so that's okay go ahead and keep discussing i, I think don't think i have anything to contribute 67 makes the most sense logically i think so anybody do defer I have no answer. So whatever. Rolling down. Okay. I'm trying to see. Oh God. How many million metric tons of milk does 
did India produce in 2019? Hmm. Let me ask John again. <laughs> I'll read question 10 because I have no idea for nine. And in the it's closely tied to. Okay, so the last line, if you get the gist of it, you will get a point. So that must be a hint. Because, I mean, I, how are you to come up to two words? It could be almost anything. Closely it, tied to daily life, family it life. Like, it sounds like it's talking about, like, women's rights or women's progress or something. I Yeah, I was going to say women's rights. And that just popped in my head when you said, I'm going to read it again. So I did. And that's what popped in my head. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd agree with that. So why did she say if you get the gist of it, you will get a point? Because that makes it sound like some... It's a Maybe club. that's not the exact... It could be women's movement. So, or... so basically the question's asking, am I correct, that it's um, the total milk production for India in 2019, right? Yes. Correct. That's what I get. John Where, estimated 45, and he didn't know any of the other numbers in the question. Well, if, if, but if the fifth largest in the country is at 30, then it's got to yeah, be then, a minimum of 30 times five, plus no, however bigger the top four are than the fifth. No, no, no. I Whatever agree. for Dash uh -huh. is the top number, and then that's this one here. So the top number did 30.5, followed oh, okay. by Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh. Okay, so, but if it's 45, then two, three, four, and five would have to be almost insignificant compared to right. one. But we're looking for an answer that's plus or minus 30, and we already have 30 to start with. Right. So the minimum number that we should put here is it 60 or 61. I would say it's got to have three digits. Yeah, John's, John's recon, recalculating in his mind and saying it has to be higher than that. Yeah. Like 150? I uh -huh. could buy that. There are, I don't know, 30, 35 different states in India. Maybe 200 million. He said 200 million. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. We're making well, we it up. 270, and that would be right in the range with the 30 million plus or minus. Well, That'd be 170. I'm okay with that. How about 175? 175? I think the U.S. production is somewhere around 100 million. And India's more, according to one of the earlier questions, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. U.S. is what, second or third? I forgot where it was. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. They said we're third. Okay. So yeah. 100 million. So, so 175. 75. Okay. And then the last one, I think it's, I think women's rights sounds. Women's rights, <laughs> women's movement, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's interesting. It suggests. All right. Oh, we uh, did good on this. Got an answer for everything then, right? Yeah. I think we did really good. Yeah. We'll see. I think we should celebrate with an ice glass of warm milk. Warm uh, milk. I made I made smoothies. Look at Karen. She's there with her little clipboard trying to hide her face. I agree. Why I did you warm focus milk on recipe. India? Because she took the questions from somebody who'd made the the category, the questions are already made and they were India focused. Uh, and they're the biggest producer of milk. Yeah, well. And we need to be diversified talk about here. other animals and milk. Our, we didn't our, talk about how many jerseys are. Our category, we are, our, our, our what trivia game needs to be diversified. I wonder if water buffalo milk is included in this. Uh, oh, thing. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it must be. 
I mean, what it doesn't you come up with that for? It doesn't specify cow's milk. What's different? What's special about water buffalo milk as opposed to cow's milk? You, how are you going to catch a water buffalo and milk it? They, the last they actually do farm yes, water, water buffalo, buffalo milk. Goes, or milk. Is, that's, yeah. That's a thing, apparently. Oh, you know, I'm grossed out. I don't even want to eat popcorn now. <laughs> Why is water buffalo You're milk right, grossed right. out? Oh, just a cow. Yeah, it's just a cow. It's a bigger cow. <laughs> okay, yeah. good job, team. Okay, prerogative of Gerbeck here. When I was a little girl, we went back to Arkansas, which is where my mom's from. I think it was 12. And I went back there and they were milking cows. They had a, cows. Oh. And they had the cows and they were taken and they were milking them, putting it in a bucket. And then they'd bring the bucket and put it in the refrigerator and you, they would have a glass of milk out of that. Right. And I remember looking at it with all that stuff floating on the top. I'm like, I'm not drinking that, you know. And, and like, if you get and if you get a hair in it, it's good luck. <laughs> you know. And you know and that like, the, I said, I'm not having what what tray? Do you know that the holes in Swiss milk are related to those dusty things that have fallen on the top of milk? And nowadays, since they oh, the Swiss milk. Get these little things on their udders. And it doesn't actually sit in a bucket to open to the open air. Swiss cheese doesn't have any big holes in it anymore. Oh. And they've been trying to figure out why. And that's what they came up with. Oh, interesting. So, well, I told them I'm not drinking that milk. I'm not drinking cow milk. They go, it's just cow milk. I'm like, I'm not drinking cow milk. And they said, okay, fine. We'll get you some goat milk. Uh, <laughs> no. oh. I think I just drink milk. Would, I think I just drink water from that point on. I was we would stressed. bring the milk in. We strained it through a flour, uh, you know, like the dishcloth yeah, and the yeah. flour sacks. Yeah. Flour um, sacks. and then we put it in the fridge and let the cream come to the top, and then we skim the cream off it and put the cream back in the milk cans to, or the milk tank. And then just drink the skimmed milk. That Aww. is very cool. We're going to do, it, we're all back. We're going to give the answers now. Thank you so much, everyone, for your good humor. That was and, fun. That yeah. was a category we haven't had either. I'm shocked. <laughs> yeah, and I was asked, you know, why did you choose India? I had uh, several sources and I started to write my own categories. And I thought, no, this just adds a little, you know, something a little different a more global uh, aspect we're very u.s centric in this because most of us are here from the usa so i just thought ah just add a little difference to it yeah i like it okay that's great so which organization i uh, there were two that uh, mainly folks were talking about and i think a lot of you got this it was the united nations there, there you go okay yeah. and what were uh the two things now the the, the way this describes it is Ale and beer. So it's got either of those. So I guess ale is just made out of, can be made yeah. out of other things as well. But ale and, and beer. Uh, you know, maybe they could have drank other things. They were just, you know, a bunch of alkies, maybe. They just wanted a good excuse. Now, McKinley or Roosevelt? Who was it? It Betty. was Theodore Roosevelt. Well, yeah, yeah, McKinley was dead by then, so probably not well, him. Some people were kind of thinking, you know, <laughs> around that time, I heard a couple of people. Okay, so uh, let me see what the question for, what was four? Four was about uh, the, vi oh, the vitamin. There we go. There wasn't a multiple choice. So what was it? It was B, B vitamins, because they used to call, as as Lee and others said, you know, they used to call them vitamin and nitrate. You know, they just call them B vitamins, B complex. Vitamin now. Vitamins. Yeah, that's why um, that was what was going on there. Okay, and then I go back to uh, with which university okay now this you know you really just had to know but where, uh, which university it was but it wasn't so long ago that, i mean it wasn't very long ago that this was in the news so some of you may have seen it because this um this particular school uh uh institute or uh, i'm sorry i'm not looking at my questions now but the the chan bro the, the brothers they donated 
all this money in 2015. So it's fairly recently. So some of you may have remembered it from the news. It was two brothers that donated uh, hundreds of millions of dollars to create this and name it after their father. So, you know, the answer is B, Harvard. Harvard. Oh, yeah. oh I, I just thought some of you might have, you know, uh, when I chose to for that to be the answer, I extracted it for that. Where did reason. they get their money? Do you know? Um, no. <laughs> yes milk it does uh, from, a body selling, good. from selling milk they, selling they invented milk. the phrase got milk they were an ad agency oh now that, that makes sense. sense no they i don't they know they, they I brought don't the know. empty they brought the empty bottles back and got them. Yes. <laughs> <I've been laughs> hoarding them. their dad hoard. was a milk bottle hoarder cattle rustlers uh, <laughs> <There you> go. <laughs> okay. awful. and I'm so this up. was kind of a trick i don't think anybody fell for it but what is it is it's, it's the lactose right lactose. Yeah. and uh real and estate was the money there you go real mm -hmm. estate there we go okay. by the way well oh you didn't bring it up i think but all of you people who don't have a problem with that it's because you're mutants okay okay no, that's, a tr that's the truth that's like, true. There's, there's, a, there's a mutation in, in the human genome which allows that and people like me who can't have it don't have that mutation so okay. you're the mutants yeah, but you lack the survival advantage of being able to consume milk. Yeah. That's, Yay, not, mutants. That's so a good thing. It's a good to have. Yeah. Okay, so here was the rest of the question that wasn't necessary, but just for your information. Uh, at the same time, there are still many, especially in Asia and Africa, who've not developed the lactose uh, lactose persistence. Add to this the concerns about contamination, protect, particularly in unhygienic settings of milking cows, Susan, and handling the dairy product in India, it's, uh, more, but it's everywhere. Moreover, the presence of antibiotics and hormones in milk from injected cows for increased production and disease containment, it's been, it's been an additional area of worry. Okay, so back to the uh, answers here. For number seven, the answer is... Doo -doo -doo. Okay, a lot of good discussion on this. People talking about cheese production, people just dealing with uh, uh, population and so forth. It really is just that. Seven, Pakistan and Brazil. Oh. In that order. Oh, in geez. that order. Oh, wow. U.S., oh. China, Pakistan, and Brazil. Oh, oh Brazil. we were right on it. Pakistan. We were on that we one. Both of them, but we chose Pakistan and France, uh, Brazil and France. So, uh, let me see. Number eight. I feel like this is the wrong answer. Um, I'm yeah. sure somebody will be here to argue with that with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's between 65 and 70. It should be. Well, I know, but that's not what I wrote down. And and so I'm, I'm rereading it. India's oh. national was a board was set up around around the same time in 19 around the same time da, 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 during a visit oh no it's when okay no okay it is the right answer it was a trick you had to know you had to know when uh shastri was the prime minister of india right and you read it and it, it seems like oh it has to be between 65 and 70 but it was not it was near that time but the answer is mm. 64. Shastri oh, that's was wrong. Shastri was the prime minister between 64 and 66. So if you knew that, you know. <laughs> that was a little trick. That was for people that. Damn. Don't Somebody's going to do a category on India's prime ministers next. They don't know oh. beans. Well, it was kind of historic. It was only the second uh, prime minister. Okay. You know? But anyway, um, okay, there we go. Okay, now, how many million metric tons in India? Your People are looking at it. They were saying, oh, this is the highest. Are they all at least that or all the same? Is that the highest? Blah, 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 blah. I gave you plus or minus 30 million people. The answer is 187 million. All right. All right. All right. We did good. Good so job, team. What between one fifty eight and two seventeen, or one fifty seven and two seventeen? Is that right? We said one seventy five, so I know we were we were in it. We overthought that really bad. Yeah. Okay. So I was. Thank yeah. you, John. All right, and the Namaste. answer here. 
I do want to hear your answers. I will decide Thank what also, I will choose. The answer is women's empowerment. And Yay. so what were your answers, people? Women's rights. Women's, women's rights. rights. Women's rights, I'll give you. Yay. The cast system in marriage. What else? The cast system in marriage. I will so, mm -hmm. I will say no to that. We said family farms. Boo. I mean, no. <laughs> well, we get that it's wrong, Karen, but we don't need the additional diss, okay? <laughs> no, I, I think, think it's it, a I think fine answer. answer. I'm sorry. Is there anyone who would, who has a question whether their answer counts? If they, they didn't, if you didn't say women's empowerment, you said women's something else. I will let you know. Yeah, you already you already said ours was okay. Women's rights. Yeah, we're yeah. good. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'll and see so you guys good. next week. Bye, Bye Carolyn. 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 Bye, Carolyn. Bye. Bye. Okay, so I'll have you know that the only male on our team said women's empowerment and got voted down. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ron. So here is the link, <laughs> and that was Reader's Digest India. That's our article there. Okie dokie, artichokies. Uh, thank you so That's much. That's very okay. good. Let's do scores. That is very good, Karen. Ah. Thank you for doing that. You're welcome. And I want to remind everybody that uh, next game, we're going to be uh, not needing you guys to um, volunteer, nor the game after that. But after that, we will need people there. And I'm just going to remind you that by then, Lee will have been his, at his fifth game. So just throwing that out there uh, what june 15 uh i think so and yeah, i still put, have a lifetime ban you right? could put me down no, no, you're not, you're not taking names yet. no i'm not picking Ron, yet. you underestimate the level of joy some people have when you're doing a category <laughs> oh no it's a lot of fun i think it's fun but i don't want to have anybody attacked so i want them to have a good strong foundation in the group okay can... uh we don't have any more lose you know can't we just arrest Aww. him already or Paula, Paulina's. Five. Don't know your milk, huh? All right. Wasn't Singing and dancing llamas. Dun, dun. Hold on, hold on. You got to at least see the. Oh, another oh, llama. Oh, look, look at their dancing. little feet. <laughs> Singing and dancing. Oh, it is Aww. dancing. And dancing llama. Oh, yes, we have a mascot for our team. We should get extra points. <laughs> for extra points. For this category, we have five. Okay. So let's go with who's, which trial was that? We had six. Okay, dokie. And clap him and irons for the sixth anniversary of Kopepi, which was Karen's team. Eight. Look at that. Eight. Look at that. Eight. Wow. Eight. Okay. That 30 years to life show. Did we take him over? I think we just lost. Uh, we, we got a five on that one. No, I got oh. six. I got six. six. Okay. Look at that. Oh, Tied up. Tied. The Clapham of Nirons is coming from the behind. Oh, yeah, taking, taking, taking you guys over. You better watch out. So the next round, which I'll be on that team, so it'll it'll make sense in a second. We go down a point every round. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Oh, that average one, out of six. Not this one. Let's, let's try for four and three on the next two rounds. See if we can. <laughs> <laughs> Trend going. Yeah. yeah, but look what we did. All right. All right. Okay. So very good, Karen. Thank you so much for volunteering. Hers are always so much fun. And I never want to remember to look at the what day it is because I know it's going to be a hint. And I don't like to have the hints. I'd rather just go with, just go with it. Okay. So Miss Robin up here in the right hand corner is our next contender to see how we can we can to quiz us and see how she can make us see what the what happens with the points. You're all okay. up, Robin. Uh, I'm glad I'm going last because I this is it's time to rest your brain now with an easy category. Ah. Um, and the category is some of you will hate me, some of you will love me, but hopefully there's one love who, who loves me on each team. The subject is Ted Lasso. Wow. I hate you, Robin. I did watch the first session. Never seen session it. At Never first seen it. You screwed your one. team, Robin. Is this, is this going to have spoilers for the season? Because I haven't watched it yet. Oh, I probably, I probably. Me neither. Uh, there are no spoilers. Um, and there's um, my most. There might be spoilers for the first half of the season three. Sorry. 
I gotta okay. go to anyway. I changed my mind. I love you, Robin. Um, okay, good. <laughs> great category, but I'm too far. All right. Question number one. Uh, Did you say oops. you're going, Mike? I'm going. Gotta go. Hi, Mike. Oh, bye, Mike. Bye, bye, bye. bye Mike. Hey, I have a small team. Hopefully there's hopefully there's a tight on there. your and team. Mike, Just Mike, calm down. Mike, Mike is the only one who would have known it on our team, Robin. In oh, bummer. In Ted Lasso, the soccer team is named AFC Richmond. What does the A stand for in AFC? We know what FC stands for, football club. But oh, I didn't a, know that. Is A like where they live? A stands for something. Okay. Uh Question number two. What's the mascot? What is the mascot of AFC Richmond? They don't have like a little animal or question number three. Faith, Romero, what? mute people. What what newspaper does Trent Krim work for? You're muting everyone. Three, two, one. Unmute myself. Question number four. What's the name of May's pub? Okay. Number five. See, I gotta dip in here for another thing. Uh, you know the three guys who hang out in the pub, mm -hmm. who are always there. Mm -hmm. Which of the following names is not one of those guys? So, uh, we've got Paul, Colin, Baz, and Jeremy. One of those, three of those names are the guys who hang out in the pub, and one of those names is a guy who is not one of those three guys. And I thought the names were Larry, Larry, no, Daryl, and Daryl, and Daryl. And my other brother, Daryl. Yeah. Okay. Larry, Daryl, and Daryl. Yeah, Larry, Daryl, and Daryl. Number six. What's the name of the restaurant where Jade works? Um, oh my god you gave oh. <laughs> number seven what football team did Rupert buy at the end of season two I thought you said no spoilers uh, she said it might I, spoil I, up to the beginning of the third season if, yeah. if you're if you're in the if if you haven't seen it at least half of season three, you're you're not a fan. <laughs> I don't I'll, even know I'll what it is. I'll excuse the second half of you. Okay, well, I'm trying to make you guys into fans here. And this is like all the folks that say, "Oh, but, but, here's a bunch of spaceships," and everyone will not, know what they're. Of course, not. everybody knows. But something. normally, the spaceships aren't from one show, Karen. I would never do that. Just so oh, that. yes, you did. You no. would do it. Did you no. not? Did you or did you not do Project Hail Mary? crickets i hear crickets sometimes it's from all from one show Just something about bleeding the fifth okay so it. now here's something from season. so what character retires from football to become an avocado farmer that's season two so um jade's character is revealed to be not originally english where is she originally from and finally which player comes out as gay first or last name of character or actor and i think i can say go to your room thank you robin open all rooms there we go
I apologize to my team for ruining our second place or first place score. Yeah, and just to be, just to be clear, Susan, when I do questions like that, like Project Hail Mary, you didn't have to actually read it to know most of them. It was like, what star were they going to, which happens to be one of the closest stars to Earth. So if you happen to know about stars, you can know it even though you didn't read the book. Anyway, it's it's a peeve of mine because I know zero of these. I don't know anything about the show. And well, it's all on Tuesday, Bill. We get zero. Ah, I don't write it. I don't read it either. Or yeah, don't watch it. Um, you so, guys should watch the show. You didn't watch, you watch show. Ted Lasso? I nope. watched it. I've never watched it. Oh, that means it's me. And yep. I don't know any of these uh, answers. Except we that there are a couple zero. things that I do know. Oh, you do? Okay, go ahead. Well, for example, the team is the Greyhounds. Ah, uh, that's right. What, it is. What number is it? Oh, so you have Two? watched it, Susan. I... Yeah, I, I have. I've watched to the middle of the second season and gave up. Okay, so it is up to you. And, so number two, wait, number two, is, wait, two is a two is a mascot, not the team. It, yeah, well, that's math. Greyhound. Yeah. Greyhound. It's a greyhound. Okay. Okay, and number one is like associable, isn't it? No, it's association. Okay. Because that that's what a lot of the uh, football teams in England are. They're association or something else. So okay. wait, what is what does the FC stand for? She said it, but football club. football club. So association football club makes sense. Yeah, of Richmond. Yeah. Okay. No, it's and it's, grammatically, that's weird. All well, right. No, so I I don't know which one Jade is. I think it's the one with the long hair. I couldn't stand her character. And she's white and annoying. And if she's not English, she's probably no idea she's not she has an english accent so maybe she's from one of the colonial places like um what question are you, what, what question are you looking at nine which is the only one i might oh, be able to figure okay. out oh. um hmm. uh the name of jade's may's pub maybe it's called may's I I I watched the show. I can tell you story arcs and I can tell you things like who's, mm. who's I mean I get that, but when it comes down to like knowing things like like this, I I have not paying attention to it. They go to the pub and there's these three guys that are always hanging out there and they're always there and they there's football teams, but I don't know the names. Bill, do you have any more than that? Um, the full name of the or the location of the team is Richmond on uh Richmond on uh Thames. It's one of those Richmond Richmond upon some river. What what number is this one? Uh I don't see any question like that. What am, I, what am I missing? The name of the pub? Is that what you're going for? I don't know what he's going for. Uh, Trent Graham. I mean, I know exactly who that is, and I know he's a reporter, and and mm -hmm. started out really harsh, and and then Ted Lasso just okay. wins them okay. over. I, I misheard. I misheard a question, and I. It, so do you think he works for a, a newspaper that's a legit newspaper, like the Globe or something like that? Or is it some made up thing like the, I don't know. I mean, we could put anything. We could put the Sun or what's a popular newspaper over in Britain? The Sun, the Globe. We'd have a better chance. What's the name of a popular British? Uh, the Guardian. Guardian. There you go. His, but the Guardian. Which one, which one is this for? Three. Okay. Okay. May's Pub is called. But the, the Guardian is very prestigious. So would Trent work for a prestigious? Yeah, he was a serious journalist. Okay. Okay. Not like the Daily Mail would be. A, yeah. So, no, okay. He was. He was a serious journalist, mm -hmm. and it was, that was part of the arc is that he kind of won. Ted Lasso won him over. Okay. And so 
I think we should call the pub May. May. Yeah. Oh, no, it, 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 it'd be something like, like uh, the, uh, the Rose and Crown or something like that. Yeah, but then everything's open. I mean, it could be anything, but at least we yeah. know. Yeah, so... Uh, I mean, it could be the bull and the bear, or the wine and the cheese. It could be, yes, or the. I mean, it's anything. Or, That's or... why I'm saying. Okay, the following names is not one of the three guys. Okay, so we have one in four shot. I think it's not Colin, and I think it's not Bayes. Jeremy or Paul. All right, pick one. Bill? I'll go with Paul. Okay, psychologically, she probably okay. wouldn't have put the answer number one. Oh. So that's I think oh. it's a good guess. Okay, there you go. Whatever. What is the name of the restaurant where Jade works? Isn't this the one you were saying, Jade's or whatever? I'm not 100% sure I know who Jade is, but like I said, I think there's only, there's another main. Oh, oh you're talking about May's Pub. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is, what is the name of the restaurant where Jade works? There was an Indian restaurant in there that was, was featured in one episode, but I don't think it was in any other episodes. Okay. Um, what's the name of a restaurant? It's not a pub be anything give me a name come on rob what's the name of a pub it, it, i'm not a restaurant i mean a restaurant not a pub literally it could be anything <laughs> well that's why this is silly i mean if you don't know it you don't know what it. Kind of, what kind of oh a restaurant what kind of restaurant is it just i don't know i don't think it's a pub yeah i don't think it's indian no no so mama's <laughs> Mama's, Mama's eats. <laughs> no, it, uh, the the thing is that it's full of normal everyday London stuff. Okay, so what would that be named? You're naming a well, restaurant that's everyday. Well, no, the but the thing is, England, London is known almost as much as San Francisco for being. Uh, a place where you can get any kind of food. And so I would guess it's something like an Italian restaurant or a Greek restaurant or a... Okay, Italian. Now, what is it named? Manja. That's the one near me. It's actually an Italian restaurant. Manja's. Does Manja. that sound like a restaurant? That means, that, that's, uh, Manja means let's eat. Yes. That's okay, the name of the Italian restaurant we go to every every week at least once. Okay, yeah. what football team did Rupert buy at the end of season two? Could it be like a polar opposite of whatever the Richmonds are? Like, is there mm. a, a link to Richmond in history that would be an opposite? Like the AFC? So just for the record, I'm putting in the chat because you, you called me out on this. These are my 10 questions from Project Hail Mary. You can answer every one of these without having read the book. So that's the difference in how I do these things. Okay. Just telling you. Jen corrected, Rob. Yes. Okay. They're, yeah. they're essentially, they're inspired by the by the story, but you didn't have to read it to know any of the All right, things. Robin. How's everybody doing? Uh, I think we're ready to close the rooms. Um, how are they one doing? Team, um, we have one Tad Lasso fan in, in the house, and that is Carl with the K. Mm. <laughs> really? I wouldn't have picked him. Okay, so no. get ready. Okay, so Jade's character is revealed to not be originally English. Where is she originally from, you guys? I would say Australian. There you go. That makes sense. Okay. And what character retires to become an avocado farmer? I know it's not Ted. So somebody named Colin. There's a name. And 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 do we have a name that is <laughs> Robin? You're gonna hate us. Which which character came out as gay? 
Colin. Jade. Jade comes out. Yay. We have answers. Okay. Write those all down, Bill, or is it you, Rob? I, I've I've zoned out. <laughs> Bill, do you have the I, I'm not I answers? haven't read, written any of these down. So oh, okay. it's, up got you. it's up to you, Susan. Oh dear. Okay. I I I'd like to do something like the crown and anchor for the for the rest or uh, for the pub. Okay, crown and anchor. Is that uh, that sounds familiar somewhere? I know that there's a rose and crown in Palo Alto. So <laughs> I have a crown and anchor in in Monterey, right around the corner. I haven't been there in a while, but that's there is a crown and anchor right near us. Might be a very common bull and the bear, those kinds of things. Yeah. Why did they name them two different things? It just became a tradition somewhere, and they I just so. kept it up. Well, yeah, that's. Yeah, I wonder what percent of them are like that if it's not 100%. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there are other styles of naming them. Like, you know, I don't know, the uh, the angry bear, like as opposed to two separate things, an adjective in a name. I don't know. That's a good question. The owl and the pussycat. That's two things again. <laughs> yeah, but I think in Britain, I think it's almost always two two things. We didn't get a football team. Is there anything that makes sense that we could write in that spot? What's the opposite of a greyhound? How about the pit bulls? <laughs> Could it be the pit bulls? I'm going to put the pit bulls. Pit bulls, fine. <laughs> uh. All right, I'm leaving. I'm done with this category. Uh. It wasn't a very popular category, Rob. <laughs> no, they should have been figure outable, like Rob said, without watching the show um sorry <laughs> yeah so just just because you didn't see this because you were in the room i'm going to paste this in robin Th these were my project hail mary questions everyone can answer those without ever having read the book okay right that's that's the, it's like it's influenced by the book these are all mentioned in the book but it's not something that you had to watch it or read the book to know these answers so there's nothing wrong with what you did if people like that, but I personally don't like that style because if you don't watch it, that particular show or read one particular book, you're screwed. And we're back. I was telling my team I've watched every show. I just watched it the other day. I can't remember a damn name. <laughs> five five, members, with you, five minutes after a show, I forget everything. I, I, told, I tried I, to make it easy if you watch the show. If you watch the show, yeah. I'm, and, I'm exactly the same, Rob, and I could tell you story arcs i can tell you personalities i can tell you yeah. what was going on with who and what well, ask well, Alex just names. described well, four years of high team. school only one person on our team even has apple tv and they didn't like the show so they never watched it oh it's a streaming yeah, 15, show too yeah wow I, I i got it because i watched severance and then i said oh i'm gonna watch wow. ted lasso because everybody's talking about it and then i second season i said mm. oh, i'm done Okay, well, let this be your admonishment, everyone, that you should watch Ted Lasso. She really likes it. It's a great, it's a great show. It really is. Carl Those said it's some of the best good. writing on. Yeah, it's, it's, some people love it. My sister it's, likes it's it. Even oh. It's even better than the Blues Brothers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we know how much you love Find the Blues Brothers. how wrong we are. Yeah. All right. Was, I only was very with Ted Lasso. And that other show was supposed to watch. Yeah. Scores, everybody. Well, we need the answers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not so sure. That? Or is it yeah. every, everybody gets five? Oh, God. Yeah. No, then that wouldn't be any fun. Okay, so go ahead, Robin. It's going to be several zeros. Okay, let me find my answers here. Well, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I was going to paste them all in at the same time. Uh, <clears throat> Could give us three guesses for number one. <laughs> three guesses. Okay. Australian Atlantic. Well, we tried to use our logic to try to figure American. out American. <laughs> Amsterdam. <laughs> Austrian Atlantic Australia. Associated. Asshole. Asshole, the good one. We put we put association. Yeah, same here. Association. Oh, you're not right. 
That's the answer. Good guess. We, well, we, we knew that one. That was something that was possible. And you're going to say them for the listening audience, right? Uh, number one, association. Uh, number two, Greyhound. Number three, Trent Krim, the independent. What? He always comes to the press conference and stands up and says, Trent Krim, the independent. The independent. Uh, Until he got fired. <laughs> Until he got fired. Uh, the Crown on Anchor is the name of the pub. Oh, is that the one? Is that the one you're for, Bill? Did you really see Crown and Anchor? Yeah. We just so guessed a we just guessed a name. Yeah. Oh, did you say Crown and Anchor? <laughs> we did. Oh, good, good. That's a common pun name. First I said maze. And and then oh, this, this I thought we hit. had something different. Is he that was gonna be something like Crown and, and Anchor? Things like that. Susan wasn't on our team, Ginny. Yeah. Oh, that's not right. one of the three pub guys. Taste of Athens is the restaurant. West Ham United is the enemy team bought by Rupert. Uh, Zava, Zava. Nice. Zava that was a, he was a weird he was a weird character. I don't even know he was in there like for no particular reason, and he just disappeared. Yeah, I know. It was, it was very lot. weird. West Ham. We yeah. put the pit bulls for the team that he bought. Mm. <laughs> so we figured um, greyhounds. Dave oh, is originally God. from Poland. Okay, right. And huh. We had West Hampshire, not West nope. Ham United. Is that close no. enough? No. West Ham. Um, yeah, I, I would have given it to you. No. Oh, my no. gosh. <laughs> let, me see, let me look and see where they're from. It's a real team. Let me just see where they're from. If they're from Hampshire, I'll give it to you. They're not. It's they're, It's West Hampton. It's West Ham. West Hampton. Yeah. 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 We I had should be all... with Colin on every answer. We had it's all Greek to me Colin, for, the, for the restaurant, but no, that's a great guess. Guess. for the for yeah. ten for ten Colin's enough as long as we said Colin. If you said Colin, you're good. Yeah, yeah. Peggy, Colin. where are you going? All right, we almost said Colin. We changed it to Baz. One. Thank goodness for Carl, or we would not have gotten our two points. <laughs> Who's Jade? <laughs> Who's Jade in that show? Who, which one's Jade? Is she the woman that's, I can't stand? Nathan oh, you his girlfriend. Her, Susan. You can't yeah. beat us in our whopping one point. <laughs> she she's the she's the hostess at a taste scores, of Scores. Scores. She's Nathan's girlfriend. Come on. Nathan's girlfriend. Scores. She hasn't the gotten that far. The great. Scores. Okie dokie. She's the queen of Poland. <clears throat> okay. I don't know who she is. All right. So you didn't she's watch not that, that woman that I can't stand, right? No, she's nice. Not. She's nice. She's nice. That woman that comes in the first episode, the one that's really awful, I can't stand her. Who is she? Michelle or Elizabeth or Keely? Oh. Yeah, that one. I can't stand her. I love Keely. <laughs> okay, amazing. I heard a request for scores from one of the Steiners. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, so can't we Thank just you. rest them already? One. one. <laughs> braggers braggers <laughs> singing and dance, dancing llamas let's see if they're singing and dancing now we have seven. Oh, whoa who who is it we blew our pattern sorry who was, who was your ringer well alan and i have both watched and we came up with some amazing guesses taste of athens was out of my butt and Colin, we sort of you took out of both our butts. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Ellen helped yeah, on a category sure. once. That's amazing. Somebody Double write that down. Effort. We had five. And, and thank goodness we actually had people that had watched the show because I just sat out there like a tits <laughs> on a bull. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't okay. even know it existed as a show. So okay, here's two. So I'm gonna go with the one that was not Robin's team. So, Clapham and Irons for the sixth anniversary of Kofepe. Nine. Nine. Oh, nice. Oh. And that was Carl's watch. Okay. Carl. Yeah. All right. So, that 30s to year, 30 years to life show, we have three. Three. Oh, no, I can wait a minute. Sorry, team. I, I, Sorry, I thought team. it was four. Why is it three? One. We got Association. We got Gar Greyhounds. We got Crown and Anchor. Wow, we've got a hot and we got competition Colin. now for and no, we got, we got Colin, Colin in the wrong spot, I think. No, I got it written down as number 10. Colin, did, what did you? you think? Okay, I didn't. Oh, I thought we yeah. put Jade. Okay, never mind. Okay, so so we got... 
We got four. There you go. Mm. It's like a Great sprint time. for the finish line. Okay. <laughs> we should have known it. Ever, we should have known it would be that it'd be Robin would come up with that category as much as she Robin. the show. Okay. And 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 wait a minute. Just because Susan called me out, I was, actually I didn't realize I was on mute. I was trying to answer. He said, "Well, you did Project Hail Mary, so I'm going to post." These were my questions for Project Hail Mary. And I just want to point out, you didn't have to actually read the book to know any of these answers. So that's a good and point, Rob, you guys. Your avatar looks adorable. Thank you very much. It's also 30 <laughs> years younger. <laughs> but no, he makes a good point that if you can try to make the questions. Generic. Well, it's sort of generic. Question, we're about to do a bonus. Uh -oh. okay. The bonus questions are ones that I am fairly confident nobody is going to know all about because it's an area which I have a great deal of expertise and I couldn't have gotten all 10 right off my head. Mm -hmm. However, everyone is going to be able to do some good guessing. And some people may know some of it. So you wanted a question, a one that would be hard and guessable. That's what this is going to be. I've, I will tell you a, I quickly that the reason I know so much about it was for over 25 years, I bred and showed show dogs, and I'm a licensed AKC judge for some breed. And we just finished the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. That's why the Best in Show ribbon is behind me. On I was wondering about that. So, uh. what I'm going to ask you to do is the Westminster Dent Kennel Club claims that they have their, that dog show is the longest running sporting event in America. Whether or not it's a sporting event could be controversial, but it certainly is the longest running. It started in 1907. I don't want to go back all the way to 1907, so we're going to start with the year 2001, with an exception I will point out in a minute. What I'm going to ask you to do for the bonus is name the best of breed. Each, each dog is shown, and then one dog is picked from each of those breeds to be best in show. And going back to 2001 gives us 22 years. However, one thing you might not know about dogs, and one of the ways I'm going to make it a little bit easier, is first of all, six breeds were duplicated. That is, two dogs from that breed, one in different years. If you pick one of those breeds and identify it as one that won twice, you'll get another point. In other words, if the if the breed wins, if it was the mouse breed, and then a mouse breed won another year, and you say mouse twice, you can get two points. And I'm telling you that six of those winners were in fact duplicated, and you need to find 10. I will give you the, the, the years and the breeds and the dogs, but all you need to come up with is the breed. Now, Another way we're going to make it a little bit simpler is dog breeds often have subcategories. In other words, a good example of that is the poodle. There are toy poodles, miniature poodles, and standard poodles. And they're shown separately and judged separately and win separately. But if you say poodle, you'll get, well, we won't count all those that, that variety within. They're called varieties, and they're judged as if they were breeds. So we will not, all the varieties will be counted as one breed, okay? So what I want you to do is come up with those 10. And in those 10, one of those breeds that has won since 2001 was the winner the first three years they had the show in 1907, 1908, and 1909. Yeah. So... That breed, if you can identify it, you can get that breed three times and get another point for that. Does that make sense? I don't, I don't think I understand the question. Are you, you going to put I it don't in understand the chat? I don't understand anything you said. Are you going to put it in the chat? <laughs> all you're going to do, all you, I, all you're going to do, I will put it in. I will put the what I just said in there. All you're going to do is name the ten breeds that have won since 2001, one each year. Okay. So have one best in show. It's only best in show. It's 20. There are, you're talking about you have to name total the year. of 22 possible breeds. However, six 
are duplicates, and that one of those duplicates also won the very first show ever. Okay, so, so as if a you strategy... identify the breed as one that was duplicated and say, this one counts twice, I think it won more than once, you'll get two points, not just one. Okay, so if we're three. sure about one that won twice, we would put that one twice. But if we're not sure, then we might want to just guess 10 different breeds. Right. Okay. Whatever you guess is fine. If you guess it right and it's one, it's one. But if you guess okay. it twice and it is twice, you'll get two points. So okay. one other and question. I'm telling you, six of them are there twice. Are you saying that also that one of the breeds also won the first three very first right. And I'm shows. saying that the one of the two one outside, that like back in the last nice year actually won three times if we count that first one. But, but not within the last 20 whatever years. It won twice. That breed has won twice right. since 2001, but right. it also won the first three shows. Gotcha. So that breed you can get three points for if you know that it's okay. three, it's three times. Did you say a why line, why, why a would you get points, points for that? Because that was before 2001. Because it's special because it's the first show they ever had. Oh, you said okay. this is the oldest sporting event? That's what they claim. They, they, that's claim not true. The, they claim it's they claim it's the old got a horse race event. in Saratoga that's been the Travis Stakes since 1860 something. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying they, 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 they have always mm -hmm. claimed to be the oldest sporting event in America, continuous sporting event in America, is how they say it. Is a llama right. does a llama count? <laughs> as, a, as a dog breed, I don't think so. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, and remember okay. the other thing that I was saying. Is and I gave you poodles as an example. I'm not saying poodles is an answer, but you all know what a poodle is, right? Yeah. If poodles is an answer, and one year it was the standard poodle, and another year it was a miniature poodle, and you say it was there twice, you'll get credit for doing it twice. And if right. you just say poodle, it will count for a man, a standard, a miniature, or a toy. Okay? Right. But only so once. those breeds that have varieties will count them all together, even though AKC would not do that. Mm. Okay. Right. Says, okay. I've written what everything I said there. I hope. Okay. I think we got it now. Let's go yeah. to our rooms. <clears throat> Hi, Susan. Hey there, Susan. Why does it always mute me when I come in? I know one. I know three. Hopefully it's not the same oh. one I know. I know it was a bloodhound one year. Great. That's not the one that I know. Oh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> here's one. What are your three, Jane? One was a Bichon Frise. I think it's called Frise. It might be Freeze. Yeah. Do you know how to spell it? Yep. Yeah. One was a beagle, and oh. this year it was a breed that I have never heard of before. It's something like um, it's something like Vendine. Uh, it was like a Basset Vendine. I don't know what Basset I... Vendine. I don't know what it it is. Well. Since Gail is here, how close do we have to be on the name? I guess we could just say Bassett. I mean, I don't know if it's... Well, that's true. If it's Bassett, I she said that subcategories... The difference between... If she had... What she just said would be close enough if that was an answer. Okay. okay. Let's just put it and go. And, and the one I'm pretty sure, if I can remember the combination, this is going back about two or three years because I watched the, 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 the thing, is the Portuguese water dog. Oh, oh I love those. What is that? Is that like a pointer dog or? A, it's or... this big pile of cur of curly fur. Oh, <laughs> it's it's a big dog. It's it's the weirdest looking thing, and I'm pretty sure I know it was in the finals, and I'm pretty sure it won. I think that's what it was called as port uh, the Portuguese water dog. There is such a breed. Yeah. Sure. Um. I, I'm not and sure I, what year, but I know West Highland Terriers won one year. Okay. I just don't remember what year it was. And for I whatever wonder, reason, I think a poodle did actually win one year. At I was least just, one. I was just going to say, I, I think that would be a good guess to put down poodle. 
Yeah, we, we watched it a few years. I'm not sure if we made it all the way to the very end, other than the year that the West Highland won. Or sorry, the Portuguese Water Dog won. But uh, Gail, do you like that movie, uh, Best in Show? That was fun. That was that was, that was, that that was, was good. good. I love that movie, and you can't imagine how accurate it is. <laughs> <laughs> so if, you've, if you've ever been seen? to a dog show, you know exactly how accurate it is. <laughs> that was that was hilarious. I think I've seen it twice. That was really good. Yeah, I mean, it was a more snooty dog show than most dog shows. Yeah, but... you can hop around right to rooms. Okay, good. Just check and make Not sure. Not that we're I... trying to get rid of you, Gail. But, <laughs> but we are. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see how you folks were doing before I went to the other one. Uh... We'll be all right. It's on Thanksgiving, right? Because I can remember when I'd go to my sister's house for Thanksgiving, she'd have it on. on... No, actually, it used to be in February all the time. And yeah, they it, think, moved it yeah. up since they changed the location. So it was just a couple of weeks ago. Oh, so why was what was I watching in Thanksgiving? There is a the national office. dog show that they do. Oh, okay. That's one done by AKC, not the Westminster show. Okay. It's just a more prestigious show. So I, I only know these because I'd see them like, you know, in the news the next day, but I've never watched a show. Hey, hey Gail, did you ever know Joe Tacker? I know who he was. Yeah, he, he lived in the Valley here i used to know him he was a horse person too so oh okay did you work his wife did you work huh? with joe garagiolo and he was the play-by-play -play guy for it for a few years no because <laughs> that, that that was that's the televised version we were doing the show not the televised oh. version oh okay how many do we have on seven our i've got seven so far good mm, so, yeah Let's just How about, what else would be a good one? Like a Dotson or a German Shepherd? Well, I was thinking German Shepherd might be They're good. a very popular breed, so. They're very beautiful. Yeah. I think. Um... She freeze or she just. Deborah? Um, or like. She's just like very still. Oh, she's she's just very back. still. Yeah, you froze there for Deborah, a Deborah, you froze. She well, looked no. very thoughtful, didn't she? She went. She goes. <laughs> She, what did she start to say? She said, like, well, there was. <laughs> okay. I'm like, is she thinking? She just really still. Why hasn't she finished her sentence? Okay, whatever. So, I, so we're I getting any... German Shepherds. Yeah. Like I don't it's... think any of the toy dogs have won that I can remember. What about a terrier? Yeah, and like that's a good that's a good one because there's thousands of terriers right. out there. And oh my she gosh, said no. that would I assume we could get away with terrier. Yeah, she seems to be very liberal on uh what she will accept. Did so. you suppose a corgi ever one? That'd be good. That'd be good. I mean such George. A, they're such ugly dogs. They're uh, not. No, no, they're not. Oh, they're gorgeous. <laughs> brand new ones oh they're so cute uh, my take on is you get a dog that's that small you must get a cat <laughs> you know, the, good thing about, the good thing about this dog show is that every year they choose something different and so all dogs get appreciated over the course of time all the different breeds well she said there's one that's won three times or six times right yeah yeah right well, six of them yeah. have won more than once and, 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 and one, some of these the are, right and yeah. I mean, some of the, 19 what oh seven oh eight oh, seven nine. eight nine yeah i mean yeah. some of them you, you, you just find a brand breeds i've never even heard of before but. what i don't yeah. think ever wins is my favorite kind of dog and that's the retrievers like the yeah the, and the, well, labs. the retrievers or the labs yeah yeah well the labs are I, you know they're so cool but they i don't think they show very well yeah probably they're How about a border collie? Friendly. Oh, no, that, 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 I don't think border collies are AKC. What do you mean by AKC? They're not like pure American Kennel Club. Why not? How can they not be? I don't know. A lot of dogs aren't. Why? That sounds well. It's the same reason why only thoroughbreds run in the Kentucky Derby. They just have. Rules. But why would they be purebred? It doesn't mean they're not purebred. It's just, I mean, and I don't know for sure that they're not. I'm just saying I have a feeling that they might not be i i okay they might be explain they to me be. why they would not be if they're purebred they're not like blended like a, a mule they have to be accepted into their breed registries it's just it's it's their organization 
So, and they might be, I don't know. I, just, I don't know for a fact that they're not, but there are breeds that are people are considered breeds, but they're not AKC breeds. Wow. You can ask me. You can yeah. I didn't know so that. A whole different, whole thing. I didn't know anything about. Yeah, cats have the same thing. There's certain breeds of cat that are not accepted by the, the various cat mm -hmm. equivalents. Why? Just the way they're bred. Um, you no, know, they don't the have the pedigree and all that kind of cool. stuff. They sit there and they go, these are in, these are out. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I, I'm I mean, assuming that's what they do. I mean, <laughs> seriously, I could see if it's a if it's a breed that had to be blended from other breeds, that they're makes sense that you could Yeah, they're all that. Every, all dogs every. are blended from other dogs or other breeds at some point. You just have to go back far enough. They're all maybe they, because they don't have experts yeah, they're all in wolves, that category. Exactly, yeah. Like they can't bring in a. Well, no, like so they they get a breed like you know whatever kind of breed that's not in there, and the people that um, that promote that breed might go, okay, we want to be able to show, so you know they promote them and get them accepted. Some people I think don't want their breed to be accepted because it becomes too popular and then it gets overbred. Like if you remember, I'm trying to think which it was, I think it was Cocker Spaniels when Lady and the Tramp came out. Everybody had to have a Cocker Spaniel. Yeah. So they like the Dalmatian dogs too? Yeah. Dalmatians, Dalmatians or another one. Yeah. Boxers, yeah. Uh, you know, all of those dogs, they, you know, they, they get, they kind of ruins them. Yeah, that brings up Cocker Spaniel. That might, do you think that would be a good one to put on our list? I, it may have been before 2001. What do you think about dogs that can't, that are, it's, they say they don't want them to be bred because they're like, uh, what is it with the dogs with the noses that are? Oh, oh the, the pug, short nose. Pugs, pugs, the pugs. The pugs, yeah. They, pugs maybe not bulldog. because yeah, that, that's breed. bad for them. They don't want to continue breed. breeding that, you know, perpetuating that breed. No, yeah. I mean, I can see that. They can no. say, no, we don't really want people to. But Glamorize those dogs dog. are like, I'm sure, I know pugs are, I'm not sure, but, but, and then there's standards for them too. Like they yeah. have to be certain colors, they have to be a certain size. They're, you know, unless, I mean, you can still breed them, but you can't show them that way. I wonder about a French you know, terrier. Do you think they would, those are really, mm, and same well, with pit bulls. We already have terriers have on there. We did so the right French there. bulldogs, the Frenchies, but they're really popular. Oh, well, that's a good one. And the and then the bulldog? question is, should we list? Should we duplicate anything that we already have? Mm, like, did they win twice in the past? Whatever. Well, we got years? a chance of twenty-two. We're pulling from right. Yeah. Well, Ron's the one that's got the list, right? I'll go through the list I've got. So I've got Bloodhound, Bichon Frise, Beagle, Basset, Portuguese Water Dog, West Highland Terrier. Uh, actually, we got two terriers because we got West Highland Terrier and just Terrier Terrier. Well, how about just Terrier Terrier twice? Yeah, uh, I was gonna say as long as we're doing that one, we just. I don't think terrier. there is such a thing as just a Terrier. Well, there's we can Karen do that. Terriers, there's West Highland Terriers. There's. But but she but she basically said that as long as like poodles, you don't have to say poodles. toy or. Well, no, but I mean the Terriers are there are different varieties of Terriers that are like different breeds poodles are just different sizes that they're different breeds but i mean different i don't varieties. know i don't really know much about dogs so yeah i'm not quite sure yeah i was wondering about that with terriers whether that's a bit different i mean we... um uh airedales are terriers <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know um there's i think i think an airedale did win one time well i, I can just put the airedale in there is this the terrier then I, I don't know if that was I think it was and then what about um remember in uh Lady in the Tramp uh the Scotty Scottish Terrier yes yes those have been very popular again I wonder about the timeline and schnauzers I mean yeah the, all those dogs are popular but we I would think know. corgis would be really popular because they're the queen but, the, but they don't go on popularity otherwise you'd never see a, a Portuguese water mm -hmm. dog win Right. Um, they get popular afterwards. Yeah, <laughs> after they win. <laughs> but the, you know, they, they're going on basis on a standard of what the dog should look like, and right. it has to meet it's, that it's standard. The best, it's a, the best example of that breed, and right. then they have all the best. This is how they do this, the the Westminster Dog Show and all these championship shows. They get the best example of each breed in the because they show them for days, 
And then they take that, those, you know, 20 dogs or whatever it is and put them all in a ring together. And the judges go around and say, this one's not only the best poodle, it's a better poodle than that is a beagle. Right. And that beagle isn't as good of a beagle as this poodle is of a poodle. Right. And, you know, it's very subjective, but, but they judge them how their teeth are, how their jaws are, how, how they, their, their, their fur, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. How their fur, whether they stand up straight, whether their tails do what their tails are supposed to do. But we, we still do need one more. I mean, I've got two terriers now, the West Highland Terrier and the Airedale Terrier. A poodle and German Shepherd were the other two, but we need one more. Hmm. Let's stop really quick. Put we put a, a poodle twice, unless we get it come up with another one. Okay, poodle twice, poodle time two. Yeah, poodle square. Poodle yeah. square. <laughs> I wonder what number that is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. This is. What about Del always surprises me with all her talents? My gosh, she's she's a right judge of. Oh mm -hmm. man. What about Dalmatians? I, I think don't, that would have I mean, been. I think that would have been before two thousand one. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, not probably. that I watch it that often, but the Dalmatians never seem to be there towards the end. They're really it's, pretty and and dramatic and striking looking. Can the same dog win more than once? Is oh, like over year, that year over a year? I think so. Because then. But they I do don't not know how they even choose. How can you possibly choose between such a variety? I'm sure they're all very, 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 very close to whatever the standards are. I don't, I, it would be like By that point. You but, know, yeah. half of a point or something that would determine the way. I, I don't know. These things, kinds of things bug me because <laughs> there, there's it's, probably it's like too it, many winners. It's just like any judged event. I mean, you know, it's it's pay off those Russian judges, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like well, gymnastics, good job, you guys. Driving, all that stuff yeah good, good discussion stuff. um we need another minute i was just learning about that uh, about uh uh eggs from uh, from bob okay ready for the answer Bugs don't lay eggs what? ready <laughs> okay i'm going to share my screen for part of this because the american kennel club did post the winner's Oh, look at that. 2008. And Gail, this is the one that shows on Thanksgiving that on TV. No, that's the that's the AKC show. Ah, Westminster show. I it's thought the same thing. Always Karen. in February, and recently they moved it to a couple of weeks ago. That's why it was on my mind, right? Darn. And sorry. It's the only. It's the most prestigious of all the dog shows. The oldest of all the dog shows, and they just added that one fairly recently. On Thanksgiving, because people were watching television on Thanksgiving, um, it this is the only dog show where you have to be a champion to even enter. So it's a very special show to dog people. I will show you the picture and tell you the names of the breeds up to 2008. Then I have to go to Wikipedia because they didn't put pictures before that. Okay, and you'll and then I'll put the whole list on on the chat. This year, just a couple. Oh, of weeks good ago, job. Good job, Jane. She had this name correct. It is. It is the Petit Basel Basquet Griffon Vendéon. And it's the first one that time it's ever won that. And it just won a couple of weeks ago. I didn't have the oh, whole name right. right. <laughs> I had you were pretty close. <laughs> Such a cute dog. If you get close on that, by all means. <laughs> okay. 2012, last year, it was. A bloodhound. I was the only thing I knew is I remembered the bloodhound. The year before that, it was the Pekingese who has won more than one. So if you had Pekingese and had more than one, you can get get two points for that. They look like a Roomba. And then the poodle. Most okay, that's the, just yeah, not yeah, right. Poodles win and poodles win a lot. <laughs> and that's just <laughs> humiliating. That's your that's just <laughs> humiliating. Now, they that... have to be shown. They're required to be shown like that. That the, really the, the that uh, cut is actually useful as a hunting dog in uh, in ponds. They yeah. claim that 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 it was good for swimming because they were used for rescue work. There's a, there are two cuts that are allowed, and then there's a puppy cut, which is much nicer. Yeah. I thought those. Were, I thought those were. Do not groom them like that if they're not showing them. 
I thought those were wheels. <laughs> fox terrier, okay. look at that. And the fox terrier, wire fox terrier, there's also a smooth fox terrier, and this is the breed you could have three times. Now, for it's terriers, you have to be years, specific. The fox terrier one. Do you have to be specific with terriers, unlike poodles? There, a terrier is the name of an entire group. One seventh of the AKC's almost 200 breeds are terriers. So, no, terrier does not do it. Okay. Okay. Oh, I remember Back this. Back to 2018. Oh, you got that one. Was a Jean 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 Jean. Yeah, Jane got this one too. Aren't they hilarious looking? That Look like something and... from another planet. That the person that's I that's know that's who had poodles got a Bichon Frise and said, I can't stand it anymore. All the grooming. That looks like <laughs> a they require more actually. grooming than a poodle. It's a very soft coat, so it matched very, very easily. Oh, ah, we did get a German Shepherd. Shepherd. Right. It was a German Shepherd. Look how low its hips are. Yeah, that's oh, one of the few things that many people criticize is that there's a sloping, sloping back line like that. Yeah, that's, okay. That's German short hair pointer won in 2016. Wow. Woo -hoo. Then in 2015, it was a beagle. Aren't they? Oh. Isn't he? Another, another breed that you could have twice. Oh, she... There's a 15 inch beagle has won twice. There's oh, also a 12 inch beagle, which has not won. In 2014, we have the other wire fox terrier. In 2013, oh, oh, I forgot about that one. What is it? 12 inch beagle and a six inch. Beagle. What is that? You can't even that see it. It's this black, black. bear. It's called an Austin Fincher. It's a bad it's a picture. Bigfoot dog. It's a mini Bigfoot dog. Yeah, seriously. That's scary looking. It's a good picture of the judges. Yeah, yeah. They, they're happy. Hard we'll to the second black guy. Dog. Black dogs are hard okay. to photo. And then the the, the, the Pekingese, second round, the Pekingese have won more than one, so they get two points if you knew that they were there twice. And we're back to 2011. Hound. It was a Scottish Deerhound. Wow. The tallest mm. of all breeds. And then, mm. and this is why Terrier isn't good enough. Because oh, this guy. This is a Scottish Terrier. In That's the same guy, isn't it? No, yeah, the, yeah, the man is. Yeah, the guy's the holding people the who gun. are showing these dogs are not the owners; they are professional handlers. That is yeah. the entire profession. The, the guy's the same one that was money to the box that. terrier. Yeah. Wait, so so is Scottish terrier on here twice or just once? No, just once. Terrier is there more than once, but Scottish terrier is only there once, twice. And oh, everyone's great surprise in two thousand and nine: a, a Sussex spaniel one. And you can't just say spaniel for the same reason, because it's that particular kind of spaniel. You notice they're different from other kinds of spaniel. And it's one of the least popular. And the list of popularity of breeds, it's way down at the bottom. Okay, but look at that fine. tail. Gail, look at the tail. You can see why it's unpopular. Because of the tail? <laughs> That's, okay. the, the That's a bad tail. tail. Like owl. It's like a hundred and something. In oh, this is a beautiful beagle. Look at that. Beagle. And beagles, of course, are there twice. By the way, so we, we put beagle twice, but we didn't put anything about the, the inches. Does that matter? No, that's okay. okay. I said that's, that's a variety. They're shown as 12-inch beagles and 15-inch beagles. But if you put beagle, you can get credit for it twice. All right. I bought a $5 oh, footlong. Yeah. And <laughs> we then switch because that's the last one that they have put in there. So I can't show you the pictures anymore, but I can switch to the list. And here's the rest of the list. In 2007, in seven, it was an English Springer Spaniel, which is an English Springer Spaniel. In 2006, it was a Bull Terrier. It was a colored version, but Bull Terrier will work. 2005 was the other English short haired pointer, um, German short haired pointer. In 2004, it was a Newfoundland. Oh, wow. Big in one. 2003, it was a Kerry Blue Terrier. I thought of that. And the other poodle was a miniature poodle in 2002. And then the other Bichon Frise in 2001. And then, of course, the Smooth Fox Terrier. It's now a, a rough that's been winning, but that's the other one. So which was the one that was the first one ever in 1907 that you were that, That's the one on that's the bottom. Fox Terrier. Smooth Fox Terrier. 
And it was oh, the same oh, okay. dog the whole first three three times the show. It was a very small show then. And it was basically all the dogs were listed as either sporting or non-sporting. That was all they had. So if we oh, had a breed listed as twice, we get an extra point? If you had Fox oh. Terrier there, you could get three points if you had it listed three times. They okay. it won twice and the, rough, and the recent show, and then it was the winner the first time. So is there, Jack, is Jack there another big... No, there's, I don't think they're even AKC, are they? What is it? Jack Russell's? Oh, uh, Jack Russell is, a, is it, but they've not won. Okay. And my two breeds, the Great Pyrenees and the Russell's Griffon, have never won. Oh, the Brussels sure. Griffin is one right of yours? There are almost 200 breeds, depending upon how you count them. Yeah. What a good so, so is there like another big show in the USA in the year? Oh, yeah. There's, there are lots of shows. There are shows. Some no, no, I mean, United another every super big weekend. name for the national show. Or is there was a national AKC. AKC show on Thanksgiving, which was created fairly recently. And it's uh, run by the American Kennel Club. All of the other shows are run by dog clubs that are members of the American Kennel Club. Yeah, yeah. The American Kennel Club, people can't join as individuals, but clubs join. It's a club of clubs. So right. the, all the clubs run the shows that AKC sponsors. The Wire Fox Terrio over time has won 15 times. Yeah, it's the most win were the Fox Terriers. We had one of those once. Gail, I have a question about scoring. So we have a list of 10. We have to have said ahead of time that we are entering a single dog for more than one thing. Yes, because obviously okay. that 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 you only can have 10 answers, right? Isn't that the rule we have? So <clears throat> if you listed the breed that you thought was really popular, like if you knew Fax Terriers had won a lot and you listed them three times, you could get three points for them. Okay. Okay, so everybody got figured out how they're going to score this. I just put a link to the Wikipedia page, best list of best yeah, show winners. Is the whole thing from beginning to end. Because it, it so it doesn't include anything before two thousand. No, before two the Wikipedia page includes all of them, all the way yeah. back to, to nineteen oh seven. But the AKC only publishes back to two thousand and eight. I don't know why. And I wanted to give you more options, so that's why I went back to the whole. Uh, yeah, it was eight more years. Yeah, well, and more breeds. Yeah. Okay, so let's get over to our scores. Oops. Wrong screen. That's weird. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Gail. So let's see, we got some from 16 to 31. That's quite a range. So let's see, can't we just arrest him already? What'd you come up with? Six. All right, now here's a whole bunch of people all about the same. So let's go with uh, singing and dancing llamas. Um, I'm sorry, I, I think we have six. I can't remember if the Springer Spaniel was on the list. Yeah. 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 Oh, we, have then we, ha spaniels. we have seven. Hey. Okay. Which trial was that? This is Gail's group. We got seven. That 30 to years to life show? Six. I believe it's seven. Two poodles, two beagles, the Scottish Terrier, the Pekingese, and the Bloodhound. Or calling birds three. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So clap them on irons for the sixth anniversary of Kofefe. Seven. Wow. I had I had that we, we have had a wiener. Eight. We have a wiener. You have eight? Talk. <laughs> you I don't need it though. Eight. eight. You don't need it, so keep it to yourself, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I did seven. That's all right. I had eight, Janine. Yeah, I yeah. had eight too. You have a wiener dog. The list I can read you same, the list that we had. Same winning Robin scores. Everybody same knows. Same not. winning scores last week. <laughs> oh yeah, look at the winner last week was thirty nine too. Not forty two, by the way. Last week, oh. we missed we missed French bulldog and corgi. Yeah, and Russell's Griffin was not on the list. 
It was. We put it on our list. It was not on Gail's That's list. That's what Javon has never won. Ah, I was thinking of the acupuncture. I was thinking of the little black dog, but that's not what I said. They're actually related. Yes. Are you hearing this, Susan? I'm this sorry, what? Official score was seven, not eight for that team. Seven. So the so. Griffin ba Bassett did not qualify. Oh. Gr Griffin Bassett did. That's the one that just won. Oh. Well, that's yeah, what that's I thought. What, yeah. The 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 ba ba Bassett Griffin Fondayon was the one that just won. That's not the same thing as a Brussels Griffon, which is a completely different breed, totally unrelated. Right. So it's eight. Well, okay. seven. 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 Well, doesn't Wolves matter. We still won. French croissant. <laughs> By Give a command. These are impossible. Yay, thank you, Gail. No competition here at all. I mean, thank you, Gail. Like we're winning. <laughs> Thanks, Gail, for the dog pictures. We're <laughs> all egotists. Oh, my God. You guys are impossible. We deal with facts and data and get Yeah, them I know, so I know, <laughs> I know. Okay, I so. think it's really interesting how all, all how people in general who know nothing about dogs, but we all seem to know what so many dog breeds are. We know what they look like and what they're called. It's in. It's oh, in look at Peggy's that. got her dog up there. Good. There's George and George should he's best in our show. Oh yeah. <laughs> as, best a in as, as a team, none of us did badly, but if I was alone, I would have gotten maybe two. Just saying. I don't <laughs> well, know. Well, I would have guessed a bunch of breeds. That's, that's always breeds. my case, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I knew yeah. Bloodhound. I, know. <laughs> I remember I'm not saying, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the category. That's it. I was just I was just countering what Ter Jane said that like oh, we all know dogs. No, I don't. Well, and it's interesting uh, how it makes I it into the don't. media. I mean, this is something that even if we don't follow it, you kind of see it. Yeah. You know? That's the only reason why I know it on TV and I read the horse the the post the New York Times. Last week. Well, she, she kept telling me to vote poodle. Oh, <laughs> oh there's another Trask, Trask came in and said it's it's lab, it's yellow labs and golden retrievers the, mm. all the way. Yeah. All the way. Okay, so there's a question that know. came up in our room. Let me ask this and see if we kind of came up with some reasons, but I don't know if they're good reasons, but some breeds are not certified or not allowed in and have, there's a reason for that for some reason and i'm not sure have to why. Be, the breed has to be recognized by the american kennel club to get to go to an american kennel club show except in competitions that are not breed these are breeder shows so there are parts of the show that are obedience training and agility training where you don't have to be an akc registered breed but for the, the part where we're looking for breeding stock, which is what the whole show is about, picking the best ones to further a breed, they can't be neutered and they have to be, in this show, a champion already, and they have to be an AKC recognized breed. And there are, the number of breeds is very variable because if a person, if there are nationally, there are over 300 breeds, internationally rather, rather. So there are breeds recognized in other countries that have not yet satisfied AKC's requirements. And most of it is that you have good pedigree information and that the breed breeds true for five generations. And then they can apply for, for membership. Yeah. In AKC. And then when I, I was researching it when I was doing some other Wikipedia editing. It said that there's um, the Breed clubs have to go through a process, something like they have to have records back for, was it 25 years or something? They have to show, but every breed has a national breed club. There yes. are also all breed clubs and obedience clubs and other kinds of clubs, but every breed has an official national club that has, that's how a breed becomes recognized by AKC. And it's not the number of years, they have to show that the breeds breed true. That is, as long as you're breeding members of the breed to other members of the breed, you won't get strange things happening. So they right. have to keep records to do that, and they have to keep records to show that they can certify the pedigrees on those breeds. As it turns out, you might find this an interesting anecdote. 
is I was at an AKC dog genetics conference, and I happened to be eating lunch that day with a woman who is a, a, a physician who was getting an award because she was one of the first people to get the dog genome mapped. And I'm sitting at the lunch table with her at a dog genetics conference, right? And so I tried talking dogs with her, and she doesn't know anything about dogs. Uh, said, <laughs> Elaine, you don't know anything about dogs, do you? And she said, no, not really. And I said, how are you doing the dog genome and getting this award for doing that? And she said, well, actually, I'm a hence, uh, I'm I'm a, the head of the cancer research at the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center, and I'm interested in the genetic components in human cancers. And we get families. Remember, this is when this is all new. This is 1990s. We get families where they've had cancers that are willing to participate voluntarily in these studies. And we get genetic information from the person with the cancer and their siblings, their children, their parents who have the cancer and who don't have the cancer to try to find the genes that follow that cancer. And the problem she kept having was when they looked at the genetics of these families, it turned out, now remember, they volunteered to do this and knew this was what was going to happen. It turned out that they weren't related to each other the way they thought they were. And she couldn't use the data. And she couldn't even tell them she wasn't oh, using the data because they didn't know they weren't related the way they thought they were. And the dog people keep very careful records and do very careful breeding. And they get the same cancers we do. And she discovered that when she used the dogs with those cancers, the pedigrees were more accurate. Oh, that makes sense. So she switched to doing it with the dogs instead of the people. Yeah, ever since uh, oh, you know 23andMe came out, so many people, including myself, have found some anomalies in the family tree. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping for some Nothing anomalies. And I haven't seen any. Hi, Alan. Hi, Alan. Good night, Alan. Hi, Alan. Bye, and Alan. I'm heading out to. Can I go? Oh, oh, we're losing, losing them. Question for you, Gail. Is the Labradoodle recognized as a breed? Labradoodle is not a breed. It's no. a mixed breed. It's a mixture of a That's lab asking, and a yeah. poodle. Yeah. Now, Could many breeds be... were created that way. Would it ever become someone, one then? If someone decided to create a Labradoodle, they could create it, <laughs> show it, do it, get a parent club and all of that. But they don't. They aren't doing that. It's basically yeah. a mixed breed dog. Only and I've breed, heard, and I've heard that true. they don't they don't breed true. I've of heard they don't, they don't breed true. They yeah. won't breed true. No, because, because they're very mixed. Into yeah. gene pools, right? They're very heterozygous, which is much healthier. Well, maybe. Oh, uh, no. It's not necessarily true that no. they're not healthy because no. when they are having health problems, not necessarily. what the breeds will do is they will find a place. The, the actuality is we have this belief that mixed breeds are, less, are more healthy than purebreds. It's not true. We know every single thing that affects every kind of purebred breed and all of the things that are wrong with them. And the breeders work very hard to get rid of it. For example, the Great Pyrenees has a, a gene for dwarfism in the line and nobody wants dwarf Great Pyrenees. <laughs> Therefore, if you are breeding one Pyrenees to another Pyrenees, they will go back to the entire pedigree to see if there's a dwarfism gene in there. And if there is a dwarfism gene, they will make sure that if they breed that, they will only breed it to something that will have the, 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 the dominant gene to counteract that negative gene. And they will try to avoid it otherwise. And they will never breed to a dwarf and they cannot show a dwarf and they cannot, um, they, and they, we, we get horrified by dwarfs. There but are people who Gail, that would adorable. be adorable. And they are and adorable. Miniature okay? little Pier Grand Great Pyrenees, that would be adorable. I want one they already. They are absolutely adorable. <laughs> and one of the big controversies when, you know, I'm still a member of the Great Pyrenees Club of America, which is the parent club to the breed. Remember mm -hmm. I said they could not be shown in confirmation, which is to look for breeding stock. And it's we don't want them as breeding stock. But someone has a dwarf. Oh. It happens. Right? The two genes get together and she had a dwarf puppy. She showed it in obedience. And she won an award from the club 
as the highest scoring obedience to Great Pyrenees, which made people go crazy. And the club voted on whether to not give her that award. And overwhelmingly, they said, we don't like the fact that it's a dwarf. Dwarfs have all kinds of health problems that we don't want to perpetuate. However, she won the award and it's absolutely legitimate and she gets it. And the club voted to give it to her. So understand that the people who do this love dogs and love their breed and they work very hard. I can tell you for any breed, all of the things that are likely to happen that are health problems in that breed and all the things that club is doing to try to get rid of those things. Okay. With mixed breeds, everything is all over the place and you have no idea. So I don't think it is true that mixed breeds have less health problems. Yes. It's just spread out more. But when there is a health problem and you want to get rid of that particular problem, they will apply to AKC, find a breed that is similar in many ways and has the genes that they want. And once they've identified what those genes are, they will do within the purebred dogs a breeding to bring that new gene pool in. And then they will carefully add it and they will look to see how those breed until they breed true. And once they breed true to type, they will become registered. Look at the little willow. Look at the little dwarf. That's a dwarf, that's a dwarf pyramid, yeah. Aww. Oh, that's willow. That's the one. That is the very dog I was talking about. That was the controversy. <laughs> willow was absolutely adorable. But had a lot of health problems. And she died at a fairly young age. My brother got a miniature dachshund that evidently was uh, bred at a puppy farm and it turned out to have horrible arthritis uh, throughout its spine. We you had, will we not had find a single person who is a dog breeder who shows dogs who does not hear the word puppy far farm and go, <gasps> right? Yeah. I was expecting that actually. Often the Amish who make a lot of money the by doing these breedings yeah. and then sell them to pet stores. Yeah. Never yeah. buy a dog from a pet store. Okay? Yeah. Or, pet stores buy from, the breeders will not sell to a pet store because breeders, get, when I sold a puppy, it always came with a guarantee that if the puppy developed any health issue, I would replace the puppy or give them another puppy if they want to in love with that puppy. And any puppy that had, that they didn't want anymore, I would take back without question for the rest of its life. Every single breeder does that. That is not an unusual thing. And I would not sell to someone when I wasn't convinced that they had a home that would be a good home for my dogs because I love my dogs. Pet stores, anybody who comes in and plunks down the money gets the money. So we won't sell to pet stores and the Amish will <laughs> and, the, and the backyard breeders will. And yeah. that's why you get inferior quality and a higher price. And that's where the health problems come from, because they don't care. Why does the Amish do that? Because they make a lot of money. And they, they just consider it livestock. And they're, they're and only they educated, like livestock. They're only educated to the eighth grade, so there's limited. The, the Amish options. are, they have this very romantic view or people, the Amish treat their animals horribly yeah i have a friend there saying that if he's ever reincarnated he hopes he never comes back as an amish horse oh yeah because they treat their animals you know they're uh, i don't like know those slaves. of us that are really into animals we treat them as pets they treat them as like slaves machinery you know they they yeah. have about as much love for their horses I do for a tractor. Heck, they, I'd probably take better care of my tractor than they do of their horses. Wow. And they wouldn't argue with that because they would agree that it's just an animal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's... It, yeah, it's, it's... And what really makes us crazy, too, is when you see people that are good breeders that spend a lot of money doing health checks, doing you know, uh, genetic backgrounds, all sorts of things. And then they see somebody paying $3,000 for a Labradoodle. You know, that's yeah. like, you're like, you know, 
Joe right. had a poodle and Fred had a Labrador down the street and they, you know, they got together and here, three, three or $4,000 for these puppies. And you could go to a breeder and get just a phenomenal superior genetics for half what people are paying for Look these your, mucks. Look at your puppy. And the yeah. other part of that, you're absolutely right, Lee. And the other part of that is when we read, we look for certain things. Every breed, dogs are not bred, judged against each yeah. other. Each parent club creates an official standard. Yeah. This is what the breed is supposed to look like. And yeah. when judges judge, they judge each dog how close it comes to that standard. Okay. And that standard not only includes health issues, but personal things, beauty things, but also what the breed was bred to yeah. do, right? So if the breed doesn't have the characteristics that are expected in that breed or that have a health issue, it will the standard will say something about that problem, right? So one of the things that was always a big controversy, and I think it may still be going on with Doberman Pinschers, is Doberman Pinschers have a a a gene sitting in their gene pool that uh, causes albinism, and they will occasionally get a white albino dog. And they don't have in their standard yet, at least the last time I looked, something that disqualifies them. They certainly can't show it in the show ring because it would immediately be eliminated because we don't want that white gene. And the club would come frequently and say, we want to change the standard so that they, they aren't registered. And of course, as long as the standard, it, they, keep, they, they have the pedigree, they can still be registered. So what did some people who create, got some of these? They started advertising rare white Doberman Dinchers. And people thought, because it was rare, it must be special and worth even more. So they were taking these dogs the club was desperately trying to get rid of because it's unhealthy and selling them mm -hmm. for extra money. So just to comment on Paula, the lights down the hall look like thought bubbles, but then there's no thought above her head. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I'm thinking about is why are French Bulldogs AKC certified? They shouldn't exist. Well, the people who love them think they should exist, and they're not right now way in the top registrations in the country. Yeah, that doesn't, you know, don't they have the, isn't it frequently that they have to be delivered cesarean section? There are, there are several breeds that have to be done that way. And that breeds shouldn't exist. That's, well, that's your opinion about that. The people who no, breed them the, don't think it's a problem because the French bulldogs. Have, there are people who have need cesarean sections, right? And the and, French bulldogs, yeah, those not, really I muscular ones. I don't really care ones. about the people that love them. I care about the animals and their... Well, and I the mothers, agree mother with dog. Paula. I think mm -hmm. there are some breeds that should exist because they're just overdone. I like those very muscular dogs. They have the very big chest. I guess they're one of the bulldog breeds. That's a British. Every dog breed. I've had has come from a pound, so I know nothing about breeders. Yeah. 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 I know you don't. Mm -hmm. right? And yeah. you might get a very good dog from a pound, and you might get a dog that isn't very good because it's just a crapshoot. And if you don't care, that's fine. The you do them as a pet. Because they want dogs that can do certain things. For example, the Great Pyrenees that I bred is a guardian dog. And for 5,000 years in the French Alps, they have used them to protect sheep. In this country, they use poisons. They use traps. Because the wolves are not the issue here like they were in the Alps. Here it's coyotes. But the sheep herders and the other breeders of of, of animals that are good good uh, uh, food for coyotes were having a lot of trouble. And the Great Pyrenees Club went to the Department of Agriculture and said, "You know, we have all these guardian dogs." So they started getting Great Pyrenees and cut down the amount of loss of the of the animals by an immense amount by simply putting a guardian dog in with their sheep or their whatever. That they were protecting because they were bred to do that and i can tell you that when we had great pyrenees if a, if a if a squirrel decided to get in our yard it got out very fast because the pyrenees would do that and every year the great pyrenees club gives an award to a pyrenees who has done something as a hero and one year 
the hero actually saves his family's life by killing a, a rattlesnake because the Pyrenees is capable of killing a wolf. Hmm. Yeah, but there are some do dogs that. that are just bred to look unusual. Like those bulldogs, they have the great big muscles, great big chest. It's like you're torturing animals just to make them look unusual. Like Dotsons with the extra long back. I, I just feel sorry for these animals that are bred to look so unusual. Well, the Dachshund uh, is bred to hunt burrowing animals like badgers. And yeah. that's why they're long and, and skinny. But if exactly. you look at pictures of the way dogs short look now than Every 100 years ago, there's a big difference. There, if you look at the breed standard, it will say in the standard why they have the characteristics that they have. Uh, and they're bred for those purposes and so, have right. those purposes. I have to leave sport. the great dog debate. Good night, everybody. Good night. I think what Cindy was talking about, though, there's Thanks a, there's a, a dachshund. That, that's really dogs, dogs love lasers, just like cats. Aww. Aww. <laughs> there's a dachshund, though, that has a long neck from another breed. It's not just mm -hmm. its own neck. It's like it stands up like uh, two heads taller than it should be. Yeah, I, I think, yeah I think nowadays... It's Our a weird pets thing. Are, are kind of bred to have unusual looks. They're not really bred for certain characteristics anymore. Mm -hmm. We don't depend on them to to as part of our lives that are not our personal lives to help us exist the way we used to. Yeah. We're now they're mostly bred, they're mainly bred to be our pets. Like there's the cat breed. Somebody decided to see about shortening cats' legs. And they yeah, I don't like those awesome either. Breed. And then there's the fold, the Scottish folded air, air cat. It's like cats need a, a ear Persians that stands look, you, up. Persians, used to look, Persians and Siamese used to look beautiful. Now they're all Pugnas creepy really looking. Smashed in faces where they can't breathe that well. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I object to. If you're breeding them for certain characteristics to help human existence, like uh, herd sheep, herd cattle, um, you said the Dotson was bred to go after to the burrowing animals. Yeah, but if you're just breeding them to be get an unusual look, which is what they're doing nowadays, that's that's just cruel. It's to not. Them. There's nothing new about that. If you go back to the origin of the species. One whole chapter is devoted to the dogs that are being bred that way, and another whole chapter is, is devoted to breeding pigeons that way. And some yeah. of those pigeons are remarkable. Humans have done that since forever. This is not No, but I'm saying if they're bred to help the human species with certain tasks like herding or like you said, burrowing, but nowadays they're being bred just to look unusual. They're, yeah, like a teacup. I'm telling tea you that dog. while I'm not going to tell you that that does not happen, of course it does happen. I am going to tell you that it is not the it's nothing new and it's nothing yeah. that is advocated for or encouraged by the American Kennel Club or by the people who are breeding and showing dogs. One of the That's things good that to hear. every single breed standard, if you go to the AKC and you look at the standard, that is the way the dogs are judged. It's all about each characteristic and why it's there and what it should be and health and being being tame. There are some breeds right now that are recognized in other countries that are not recognized here because any sign of aggression at a dog show is considered immediately. And not only can you not win, you can be excluded from the show instantly and never be allowed to show again because no one wants a dog that's aggressive. So and again, we do it. You, you're you're saying something that we don't disagree with. It's just that what you're valuing is what you value, and people have sometimes pick other things that they think are more important. Yeah. So Gail, I got a question for you. Uh, is there anything in the definition about musicianship? About what? Musicianship. Because we used to have a dachshund that when my sister sat down at the piano, would race <laughs> into the house, jump up on the piano bench next door, and just sing his little heart out. Yeah. That's really great. Do they have like a, a karaoke for the dogs at the Westminster? I don't think they do that. That would be that, would, that might attract a lot more viewers. 
Yeah, it would. How about how about a breed like the Havanese? Isn't that dog basically its function is to be a cute lap dog? Yes. I, in fact, I have a Havanese. Okay. Uh, Havanese is they, the most of the toy breeds were bred for the purpose of being a cute lap dog, just like most of the cats were bred to be a cute pet. <laughs> that's what they're supposed to do. Okay. Mm. So <laughs> so that's so they're upfront about that. It's we're we're oh, breeding the toy cuteness. breeds are almost, almost yeah. all of the toy breeds are bred for that purpose. And that's yeah. why they're divided into groups. You know, I said originally they were sporting dogs and non-sporting dogs at that original show. And now there are seven different groups and their first compete among their breed, then the winners of the breed compete in their group, and then the winners of the group compete for best in show. And when you're looking at the groups, like that's why I said the terriers couldn't be an answer, because there's an entire group of terriers. They all yeah. have some things in common, right, that make them terriers. The toy <laughs> breeds all have in common only one thing, that they're tiny. But why do we breed a tiny dog? Naturally, if you look at breed dogs that are feral, Feral dogs that just go out and breed breed themselves. Yeah, they all turn out to be an average dog. Right, and like coyote size. It's what they have. They're average yeah. size. We're always when I bred Russell's Griffons that are supposed to be toys. The thing we always worried about was they got too big. When I bred Good Pyrenees, the thing we always worried about was they got too small. Right. Nature wants to create an average dog, and we don't sure. want that. We want dogs that can do all of these different purposes. And by the way was the very first breed that we can identify scientifically as being being domesticated. The very first mm -hmm. breed that was domesticated was dogs, and it was really wolves, because they have, dogs can interbreed with wolves. It's the same species, basically. But what happened was some of the wolves were tame, and because they were tame, they were willing to come where the people were and they could eat the people's garbage and the people liked the protection that they got. This is more than 5,000 years ago, right? And they found, they have found, they created a relationship. The dog- It's, got, it's gotta be more like 50,000 years ago. Really, it's gotta be much older than that. It actually happens much quicker than you think. There's a yeah. great study in Russia where right. someone was breeding. I've, I've read that. Silver, silver foxes. Silver yeah. And basically, yeah, I, in like I saw 15 that one. generations had a domestic pet. And dogs, they weren't breeding dogs, for it. They weren't yeah, trying. They were just trying for tameness. Looks yeah, like Lee's were... dog's trying to be a lap dog. Yeah. yeah. Oh, by the way, and those is, big dogs both, do. Both her dam and sire are champions. So. You know, we, although she is a is... ranch dog and and certainly doesn't look like any of those poodles that are going to Westminster, yeah. she uh, definitely swam in a good gene pool. Yeah. Yeah. She's really... so I, about, I love standard poodles. One thing about toys, it's not just bred to fit in the lap, it's bred to fit in a purse. Yeah. Well, <laughs> the original yeah. toys Designer were actually poodles. bred. But I was going to say that they in were New bred York... for vermin control. Vermin because... control, right. Yeah, yeah, in the in early New York, in the have you seen 17th, how they have a rule 19th about century, dogs? Have you seen in New York they have rules fleas. for dogs? Yeah. Have you seen yeah. how they have rules for dogs yeah. that you can carry them in a purse or satchel? And people love their dogs so much. I'm sure you've seen the pictures of giant dogs, like with their paws sticking oh, out. That's for the New York City subway. Yeah, yeah, a big yeah, yeah to go on the subway. Yay, yeah. dog lovers. You know, they have mm -hmm. dog dog strollers, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've seen those. And, and I've, yeah. I've, I've been in certain tourist towns where a lot of people have used dog strollers, and you can take them into the shops or into the restaurants. Well, you know, in California, they love their dogs, and they take them almost everywhere. And there are certain parks that have put up signs saying, no dogs allowed, because the dogs are going to bother the the native animals that live in that area like the ground squirrels or the birds that nest there stuff like that so they have to put up signs saying no dogs allowed but they can take dogs <laughs> um laundromats they take the dogs laundromats whatever store will a dog come in people are going in there with their dogs are there everywhere they're on leashes they're in those dog buggies and stuff like that have you guys seen the movie children children of men is that what it's called yes yeah. that's seen, about child of man oh the children uh, of men i've seen children of men 
That's yeah, it's about cool. not being able to the last, That's the last. Oh. It's got the last uh, uh, woman, you could woman on earth to have a child. Yeah, yeah, they could. That all of a sudden people stopped being able to have babies. It was just done. That was the last. Just no, for no reason. No children were born for I don't know how many years, 20 years or something. Yeah, the like youngest that. person left was like uh, 18 or something like that. Yeah, and he died and, that, and everybody was, it was mourning. And, and how and did this remind you of that, Susan? Because, because they lost all children, everybody got into dogs and cats mm -hmm. because that was like, I can't have children. There's no children anywhere, so we're just going to. And, people and, and that was a whole industry. Everybody just. They want to love. They want to take there care a, of something. Na, years ago, National Lampoon had a Sherry Flinken uh, did this thing where people just lost interest in having kids. And so they figured out there was this one last kid. And so he became a celebrity. It was, it was really silly. <laughs> well, that was children of men. Same kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Lost you child know, born. I'm yeah, sure this you is, all know that if you give a person who has high this, blood pressure, a, a, a dog to pet or a cat to pet, their blood pressure goes down. Mm -hmm. And if it's their own dog or cat, it goes down even more. And someone actually did some after the fact research. It's not good research because they had to take what was already there. But they looked at men who had heart attacks and followed them for the next 10 years. And the men who were more likely to be still alive 10 years later were the ones who had pet dogs. Yeah, and they don't know if it's it because, of the, because of the relationship that they had, or it was because they got more exercise because they had to walk the dog. <laughs> Possibly <laughs> also. I, I wonder about the danger of them, because I know that cats and dogs get right in front of your feet. And um, I would think that they could become a trip hazard in a lot of ways, too. I know that, that I, my like cats a cat do. And a dog. Cats they, don't care. Dogs do. They get out of the way. <laughs> well, I, I've seen them, you know, they're dangerous. If if you if you have any mobility problems and you're walking a dog in the, on a leash and the dog lunges after a squirrel, they can knock you over. Mm -hmm. There's so there's all kinds of risks too. But I I agree. I think it's probably good for your health. They have um. I remember one of our DSOW editors. She was talking about her her mother was in a home and she was has dementia, and what they would do is they had these robot cats. And you could, and the cat would sit in your lap and it would purr and it would move and then they could just pet them. And they wanted to give them to the, the, the dementia patients and stuff like that for all the therapeutic reasons, but also because if they had the pet, if they had it in their lap, they wouldn't stand up. And these are people who were having issues. Once they'd stand up, they had mobility issues and things like that. And so they wanted to keep them sitting and they didn't want to lock them in. So they give them these animals. And I thought, oh, that is really clever because they'd put it in their lap and they sit and pet it and they wouldn't stand up because they would knock the cat off. And they, you know, just thought that was really clever, but they were really expensive robots. So you couldn't keep them for long. I, I, I have to make a response to you, Carl. Um, if your dog is well-trained, it's harder to do with a cat. But the dog is well trained. If the dog starts to lunge after a squirrel and you tell him heal, he won't go after the squirrel. My daughter was actually on a television news program with one of our Pyrenees. She had to reach up to get to the dog because the dog was taller than her because she was five years old. But she could. She was walking the dog and giving the dog commands, and the dog listened. Yes, well -trained that's the thing about training, control. though. It that's is the training. It, right. It's pretty simple, and one of the most annoying things to this day, I have not owned a dog since 1996, but I took puppy classes with my literally junkyard dog from A1 Auto Wreckers in Alice Al next to our property that crawled out under the fence. Um, but I did puppy classes and I remember Pam telling me, teach your dog how to stay and it could save her life. It will save her life. Teach her how to stay. And so I, t I only did it for like a few weeks and I said, uh, sit, stay, come and heal. That's all that just those four things. And I'll be damned if that dog got off leash and started to bolt. And I said, cookie, stay, boom, she'd sit. And she's 20, she was 14 years old. And she always remembered that. But it's the people that don't do it. They have these leashes. They don't have control of their dog. They have these extended leashes going all over. No, you put the dog right next to you. And when you stop watch, walking, the dog sits down. When you walk, the dog walks. Any dog will do that. They love that discipline. Now, to be part of the pack. 
but it really gripes me when I see people not in control of their dog. It's so unsafe. Their dog is just all over and they have no control voice or otherwise if that dog gets into trouble. Well, people are getting dogs and they're not taking care of them. That's with all pets. I have a funny dog school story. I took my Aussie to to dog school, you know, when, when he was a puppy and he... Aussies just want to please you, you know? And so we would practice the dog school stuff. He so wanted to please me. He would go over in the corner by himself and practice when I wasn't giving him commands. (laughs) (laughs) And I'd see him go through the sit, stay down. (laughs) It was an Aussie. An Aussie? It was an Aussie mix. Oh, okay. Now, because I had a friend who had an Aussie that would herd people. Uh, mm-hmm. When my friend threw a party, he would uh, eventually get all of his guests herded into one corner of the living room. Now, that, sounds like a, <laughs> that sounds like a dog that was bred to herd. Because that's they will do Aussies what their genes are. That's what an Aussie is. That's, that's what an Aussie is. My Aussie now just spends her life like looking at me to see what I might want. You know, it's just what is an Aussie? I have no idea. Is that a trash? Trash Australian Australian Shepherd. Australian Shepherd. Which is an American breed. I never heard why we call her Australian Shepherd. I thought your dogs were Labradors, Janine. Trask is a lab golden retriever mix. And Jasper. Is an Australian Shepherd. Yeah, oh, Australian wow. Shepherds are uh, cattle herders. And she didn't have any to cattle. go walk my dogs. Yeah, so I've talked. I talk think we're getting her, that the right. wild turkeys, and they no longer come to our house. Bye, Robin. I think Bye. we're gonna we're gonna sign off. It's getting. I've yes. got some stuff to do. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, great talking everybody. to you guys. That was a very interesting conversation about dogs. Thank you so much, um, Gail, for leading yeah. that. Some co- topic we probably would not have had a good conversation did, on. Before. There's one can final I, question. See, who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? If you're still listening to this right now, look up Social Trivia by Susan on Facebook and join us on a Thursday night. <laughs> what was that, Bob? My daughter said that she met some people that had a dog. It was a beetle, a beetle and Shih Tzu. And she said they called it a beet Tzu. I said, no, it's a shit eagle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. In not... fact, all small crossbred dogs are now shit eagles in my book. <laughs> <laughs> good night, everybody. Good to see you. It was good, good night. Too thin. Uh,